You spin me right round, baby, right round like a record, baby, right round, round, round. You spin me right round, baby, right round like a record, baby, right round, round, round. You spin me right round, baby, right round like a record, baby, right round, round, round. You spin me right round, baby, right round like a record, baby, right round, round, round. I want your love. I want your love. I want your You have been chosen to be the ultimate laser warrior. First, choose wisely. Choose the laser that really works together. It scores on the helmet, scores between phasers, and module. When going into battle, don't get tagged. Be the ultimate laser warrior. Photon really works together. You have chosen wisely. Photon, only from Entertech. Tag. The games begin in August. Welcome, Photon Warriors. Maneuvers and audible commands begin. The ultimate game on planet Earth, Photon in the North Point Shopping Center. Lucky. It's harder than ever from Worlds of Wonder. Well, totally, totally radical to the max, Chad. I don't know if you've ever had a laser tag game while riding skateboards against people on ATVs, but that's how we did it back in the 80s. None of this Call of Duty multiplayer bullshit from behind your computer screen. We were hunted down on ATVs by middle-aged men who wanted our young blood. They wanted to sate their hunger with the death of children. That's how you played laser tag in the 80s. Or Photon. Maybe Photon was your thing. Welcome to, uh, I guess, our Photon Marathon. I happen to have a lot of people send me information about the show. Lots of things explaining the backstory. There's a Photon fan site. There are documentaries. People have uploaded Photon tournament footage onto YouTube and a good majority of the videos are still up now you know when I was looking through the catalog of 26 episodes like five of them to ten of them uh, were down for various reasons but there's still a large selection of Photon and there are episode descriptions of what's going on with our favorite show now when we looked at the uh, the discovery of Photon uh, this was about two days back it looked um really fucking amazing like it's one of those shows where you think okay this is uh in another berenstein universe this would have been the popular hot fucking 80s tv show like this should have been huge this should have been the 80s power rangers it doesn't make sense that it never took off and uh you know there's a reason i guess you get that vibe it turns out the people that worked on it were the same ones that uh directed and worked on super sentai it was filmed both in america and over in japan uh, but for whatever reason, after 26 episodes, that that was it. 
They got their season and series finale on episode number 26. We'll find out what happens to the evil Nazi Empire. I'm sorry, the evil Aryan Empire and Space Hitler as we dig into the lore of Photon, the hottest fucking toy from the 80s. Now, I know, you know, I had commercials from both, uh, from Photon and Laser Tag in that intro. Thing you need to know is, Photon's what the big boys played. Okay, that was the one. <clears throat> that was the one that had the helmet with the sensors, the gun was a sensor, the chest plate was a sensor. You could get hit in multiple places and get fucked up in Photon. Laser tag. That's what your little brother played. That's what your little sister played when she was menstruating, and wanted to take it easy. You had to get shot in the chest in laser tag to lose. And Photon. I can shoot you in the fucking face and score a point. All right, that's how hardcore Photon was. That's why we got that badass on screen right now. Mandar? Mandar doesn't play that sissy shit. He's not interested in laser tag. All right, he wants fucking blood. And if you were here two days ago and watching those episodes, he will murder children. He will black an entire planet. Mandar doesn't give a fuck. All he wants to do is destroy shit with his over-the-top thespian acting. I don't know what his prime motivator is, other than he just woke up one day and decided, I want to be evil. Like, I want to just go out and do bad shit because it's fun. He's Kefka. <laughs> it doesn't really, there's not really much motivation there other than, fuck it, why not? That's my boy, that's Mandar, look at him. He takes Asians hostage. He doesn't even give a fuck. Probably kidnapped him off the set of that Japanese show. I bet that dude died in Mandar's fucking closet. He's never been seen again. He's a dead motherfucker. So we have a choice on how we want to start this. I mean, we'll go through the episode list. We'll take a look at the fan site. But do you want to see a little news coverage of this? Do you want to see some of those tournaments and see what it looked like when people were actually playing Photon itself? Because, surprisingly, the TV show is actually pretty true to what it looked like when you were playing Photon at one of the arenas or play centers or whatever they called it. Not a 100% sure of the terminology of it. Oh, I see. You motherfuckers want to see some hardcore tournament action. You want to see what your older brothers did in the 80s when they'd go smoke pot, drink a few beers, and disappear for four hours. <laughs> oh, Mom, where did Billy go? Oh, he's at the Photon Center, honey. He's at the Photon Center fucking shit up. Now put on your little gay laser tag thing and go outside and play with your sister. Your big brother's doing big things. Okay, we've got... we oh God, There's a 2020 segment on this. Local news segments on it. We've got the Louisville Photon Tournament. There's a fucking Photon Tournament. So let me, let me get this uh, all queued up here. There we go. <laughs> I, I, I want, oh, this is great. This is pure fucking 80s because it's, it's not just the tournament. It's raw fucking footage. This was a three-day tournament they held in 1988. So you get the full impact of 80s hair and 80s music and 80s vehicles. It's a little fucking time capsule. All right, we're almost ready to go here. Let's see. Let's see how badass these photon tournaments were. Uh, now, I should warn you, I haven't watched any of this. I mean, I dug through to find some fun shit to throw on in between episodes, but I haven't actually watched these. Hopefully the volume works out well. Uh, we'll find out. All right. I think we're good. I think we should be good. This is the Louisville Photon Tournament. May 13th, 14th, and 15th of 1988. Clearly needed to be put on YouTube. Whoever did this, uh, God bless you. What's it, big ball? Oh, I'm already getting massive 80s vibes. Look at that sign. That is a neon sign. That motherfucker is going to light up the night. Imagine driving by that on your Huffy bike. You got like $3 in your pocket, but it's the 80s, so that's like really having $50 in your pocket. And you see a giant glowing neon sign, and it says Photon on it. And you don't even know what the fuck that is. And you're thinking, God, how high am I? Is that like a car repair place? What the fuck is Photon? And you walk in, 
and it's a badass death tournament of fucking lasers. Get on the Vulcan wall. Vulcan wall's okay, but you can't stand on that one little leg. Yeah, they only use one knee. Alright, again, it's just pretty much everything that we use. Can't, no, no, can't I use it? Look at that. You've even got people cosplaying as characters from the show. You remember the little nerdy black boy? There he is. Look at him. this That's the character he decided to uh, roleplay as today. Yeah, but he's got a little computer backpack somewhere in this fucking dungeon. <laughs> it's just so... I, it's fucking giant metal girders and shit lining the walls. It looks like the fucking set of Alien or something. Like they, like they bit on it and decided to make a play center out of it. This fucking fashion everywhere. Oh, these striped socks that everybody wore that look like shit. Permed hair. Oh, oh the 80s were great. like a legit fucking tournament yeah these, these photon laser tag centers really remind me of the airsoft ones that we have now uh maybe not as confined because those are more narrow corridors with all the plywood buildings and hallways and shit but it's like this dark fucking room with these giant pillars and fucking neon lights and strobe lights and shit everywhere kurt eichenwald would have to have his wife play the game for him he would be on the floor seizing if he walked into a photon center Yeah, you lazy kids today with your, your PSVR, you put your gay little helmet on and stand in front of your TV, playing Call of Duty Transport 2, because you can't even use the analog sticks to walk around without puking. But the kids back then, they put on some shitty styrofoam helmet. And look at this kid's like 10 years old. This little fucking kid's like 10 years old, straps on a fucking styrofoam helmet in a completely blacked out fucking building. And he's going to go fight high schoolers, who more than likely are just going to kick his ass, physically beat him up, and then shoot his helmet as he cries on the ground. That's how you play multiplayer. If there aren't broken bones and tears, it's not, it's not multiplayer. Imagine dropping acid before going to play Photon, stuck in a pitch black room with a giant glowing neon tower, 
as people scream at the top of their lungs around you. And su- su- Studio plays as a fucking war song. And you just feel in the walls. Try not to vomit as the tower morphs into some neon monstrosity. Thinking you're in like some bizarre 80s version of Vietnam. I can't tell if they're playing right now or being held hostage. You can't see a fucking thing. I'm going to skip ahead a little. It's just pitch black. They're filming something. I mean, there's a scoreboard. Somebody's making some fucking points. I think that dude's name was Rainstorm. I, I can't. Is that Ritalin or Rainstorm? Well, if it's Ritalin, it would explain why he's number one. He's on top of shit. Oh, oh, here's the meetup afterwards. Got to discuss the hot strats. This is like the uh, precursor to MLG. LA is pretty cool. I know. It's... Mom. <laughs> Big mom, get me out. Ah. I'm a tree frog. Get it up. It's like it's like one one I think it's one. Get down. 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 Oy vey, somebody dropped a nickel. I think we know the demographic of this group. Because I saw two of them run for that nickel when they heard the clack on the ground. <laughs> Fucking dive for that shit. That's the guy you want on your team. You just got to start throwing loose change in the fucking play center. They'll be diving and jumping all over the fucking place. Is our tournament over? Oh, no, that's back for round two. Oh, boy. <laughs> I just wanted to give you an idea of what the actual photon centers were like. I'm trying to give you a, a peek into what it'd be like to, to actually go there. But maybe you're retarded. I mean, I know I am. I, I am literally retarded. So, you know, it's great that they made and put the production money into a Photon instructional video. If you thought Photon was amazing, and if you thought the TV show was amazing, then what better way of combining the two than an infomercial that explains to even the stupidest of 10-year-olds that you need to point the barrel of the gun at somebody and pull the trigger to score points? I don't know. It's only five minutes, but I think it's, it's educational. And it's entertaining. It's infotainment. We really need to to just drink it in, I think. Welcome, Photon Warriors. Our purpose today is to prepare you... Look at that fucking dude's hair. Look at that shit. I, I, what is this style even called? It's like an abomination. It's like a combination of a mullet and a hat. He styled his hair into a fucking Russian hat. He's, he's wearing a hair hat on top of his 80s mullet. This is the most 80s thing I've ever fucking seen. Purpose today is to prepare you for strategic maneuvers. First, I'll familiarize you with the warrior's equipment. I need a volunteer. C5D, you were late again today. Like, look at the profile on that. It doesn't, it doesn't even, it's not even with his forehead. So it goes up about a foot, and it goes out a half a foot. Like, he has to walk in doorways in a very specific manner, or his hair's not going to get through it. I think his hair is actually physically bigger than his head. 
Why don't you join me? Of course, what do I know? All right, that hairstyle got her pussy wet. He's going to fuck some alien <laughs> some alien pussy cuz he's rocking that hairstyle. Bitches love it. That's why he got on the spaceship and that weird-looking fucking sea fish alien and the black dude didn't. Power pack first. Grasp the buckle in your left hand and swing it around your waist. Then snap it shut. The control pod is next. Put your head through the loop and snap on the waist strap. Then the liner and helmet. Snug it up. The phaser completes your equipment. Any questions? I was getting to that. The teams are red and green. The helmet lights flash red or green. You score 10 points each time you zap an opponent. When you zap him, his lights will go solid yellow and he'll be disrupted for 5 seconds. The object of the game is to zap to the extreme. I'm telling you, this shit is amazing. The fact that it did not become an international sensation really leads me to believe that reptilian alien overlords are fucking with our time stream. We are getting fucked into new Berenstein dimensions on the daily. Because this shit should have been the biggest thing in the 80s. It should have been right up there with G.I. Joe and Voltron. His phaser will be dead until his lights start blinking again. You can't zap the same opponent more than three times in a row. Aim from the waist to the head in the front. From the back, aim only for the helmet. Don't get any closer than five feet to an opponent. Because your phaser won't work. This is a hit. This is a miss. That's right. His fucking hairstyle deflects lasers. All right, that's how badass, uh, somebody said it's a pompadour, a pompa mullet. That's how badass our dude, our 80s radical tubular teenager with his pompa mullet is. Stupid fucking alien shot right in his dumb, ugly face. Pompa mullet rocking teen from Earth, unfucking touchable Don't zap your own team. You'll disrupt yourself and you're penalized 30 points. You'll hurt your team. And those five seconds can seem like forever when the shots are flying. This is what it sounds like. Disrupted. I don't understand. There are two ways you can be disrupted. Enemy fire or zapping one of your own. Either way, you're out of the game for five seconds. Don't be a team-killing cunt. All right, that's one of the sacred laws of Photon. No team killing. If you fuck with your if your teammates in the spawn, we are going to boot your ass out of the server or the play arena in this case. But what do you do when you get disrupted? Take cover. If you stay put, they'll keep zapping you. If you're an easy target, they'll keep coming back for you. The secret is to move quickly to take cover. Don't run around in the open. That just exposes you to enemy fire. You can't see the opposing players while you're running, but they can sure see you. Don't run, but move quickly to a protected space and be ready when your equipment reactivates. Do you think they had, like, photon grenades? Like, little, little, well, they wouldn't be LEDs, but, like, strobing handheld lights that you could huck out there and they would blast everything, even your even your own teammates. Like, this game would have evolved into some really amazing shit if it had been given the chance. Remember, hit, miss. Don't zap your own team. And try not to let them hit you. Take cover? Where? What do you mean? You are about to engage in strategic maneuvers on a battlefield that is a technological marvel. Each team has a home base to defend. 
disrupting the enemy's base is worth 200 points. You do it by zapping the base three times in a row. But it's only good once in a game. The rest of the game floor is a dark, mysterious world of mazes, tunnels, ramps, open areas and hiding places where you will stalk your opponents. You'll understand it better when you're on the field. Now, cadets, let's play. The phaser has a seeking light built into the grip. It will flash when you're on target, but it won't guarantee a score. A steady aim is the key to scoring. The seeker works both ways. You'll see your opponent's light when you're in his phaser sights. When you see this light, get moving and take cover. The helmet restricts your side vision somewhat, so keep your head moving so you can see what's going on. Pace your firing or you won't hit a thing. You are under the control of the game commander. Follow his instructions. Good luck, Photon Warriors. Well, there you go, chat. Now you've seen what a Photon Tournament was. And you've seen how to play the game. Friendly fires on. Dark area. They've got ramps. Fucking ramps. You gotta infiltrate the enemy base. And go a little solid snake on their ass. And take that shit down for 200 whopping points. <laughs> this is fucking great. Now, let me pull up the, the Photon website. Which is just fucking great. Photon forever. Because uh, this actually has links to all the episodes, and it's got uh, uh, just a ton of shit on their website. We'll be using that as our guide as we go forward. Now, yesterday we watched we watched two episodes, and I, I think it was the, the first one, the pilot episode, The Recruit. And then we watched, like, uh, in the list, it would be, like, episode 10. So we'll skip those today, and we'll move on to the other ones. But let me, let me uh, start at home, and we will take a look at some of the cool shit they've got on Photon Forever. Because I was completely wrong yesterday. I thought they didn't have any toys or accessories or any of that shit. Apparently, they did novels for the game. Uh, they had figurines and shit. Uh, the play arenas, the, the laser set itself. Uh, just just a ton of stuff. So well, let's, take out, uh, let's take a look at Photon Forever. Okay. Uh, celebrating over 30 years of the original laser tag and the Photon television series. It's just, it's it's full of everything. Uh, so here's the deep lore on our on our game, which leads into our amazing fucking TV show. So I've, I'm just going to read it. So for people watching, they can get the, the backstory. What is Photon? Photon was the original laser tag invented by George Carter III and launched commercially with the opening of the first Photon Center. In Texas, in 1984, Photon became an ir <laughs> ironic, iconic part of the 80s and started the laser tag industry as we know it today. In a Photon match, two teams would maneuver throughout an arena with players wearing equipment, including a helmet, chest sensor, and carrying a phaser that would register points when a player targeted an opponent or the opposing team's base. At the height of the popularity of the laser sport, the Photon brand was ex <clears throat> was expanded as marketing moved towards a younger audience. A home laser tag game and numerous licensed merchandise items accompanied a new vehicle for prom or promoting the Photon Laser Tag Centers in the form of a space-themed television show of the same name. The Photon Television... <coughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of a cold today. The Photon Television Series was filmed in Tokyo, Japan in 1986, a project of DIC Entertainment, and aired in the United States. It centered around a teen Photon Phenom named Christopher Jarvis, known by the player identity of Bodie Lee, who was recruited to become part of the Photon Guardians, an elite team of the best Photon players from planets across the universe who use their exceptional Photon skills to fight for the light in the battle against the dark forces of the universe. And when you look at their Wikipedia, it does say, the people that worked on this did work on Super Sentai, uh, a lot of Japanese people from just 
uh, those companies were involved in the production, the creation of the sets and the characters, designs, all that shit. Uh, also, for whatever reason, if you remember that old Mario uh, cartoon show, you know the one where they had the live-action plumbers, and then uh, they would have the cartoon snippets in between? Uh, according to Wikipedia, they used to show bits of Photon, the episodes on that, under a different name, like Space Battle Arena or some shit like that. I, I don't I don't think I ever watched that, so I can't confirm it, but... I guess they franchise. They didn't franchise it. They they rented it out, or they chopped it up and sent it out to use as little promotional materials or small self-contained episodes. <laughs> also, we'll look later on too. I don't want to. I want to try to break it up so we can put this interspersed between the episodes. But David Stay, our boy Mandar, all right, the the premier actor, uh, apparently did a little softcore gay pornography. That's what I've been told. We'll take a look at that. Well, we won't actually watch the softcore gay pornography. But I'm glad to see Mandar took his acting chops to the next level. He didn't just want to fuck Bodie Lee over. He wanted to fuck Bodie Lee. And he gives you the... Uh, here's our fucking Marine Corps General, Christopher Lockwood, as Bodie motherfucking Lee. Eros Rivers is uh, Parsival. We've got uh, Akiyoshi Ono as Leon. Kazushi Kanamaru is Pike. I guess Pike is the name of the shit-headed guy. Oh, where's Satan? Oh, that's Bugar Pyrar. Is this the evil empire? No, that's Doggart. Uh, oh, they're the, uh, the parents, the family, the sister. Gives you a whole cast. We've got interviews. We'll take a look at some of this stuff, too. Luckily, Mandar's pretty, uh, pretty bro-tier. Apparently, he has got, a, like, a giant fucking uh, photo collection and all this shit. So he gave it to the website, and he put it out there for people. There was like a photocon where he, he showed up and he signed autographs and stuff. Or Focon, I guess is the name of it. Uh, but he seems like a pretty cool guy. Collectibles, toys, all of that shit. But we're here. We're here for the fucking episodes. No, stop. Stop being. Oh, there we go. All right. So we watched The Recruit. I, I, don't know, I, should, I, I don't know if we really need to go into the backstory. If you want to see the first episode of Photon and all that shit... Just um, go watch the stream from two days ago. But we watched the first one. That's where our main character, Bodie Lee, the bodacious 80s teen, gets caught up in an intergalactic adventure to fight the forces of evil, known as the, I'm not kidding, known as the fucking Aryan Empire. The Aryan Empire, whose brilliant strategies we've seen so far include quite literally blacking a planet they were going to, they, they, want, they were, like Mandar threatened Bodhi, basically implying his mom was going to get blacked. That was Mandar's plan, was to black Bodhi Lee's mother. That is fucking amazing to me. But uh, we'll move right on. We're going to jump right into the second episode. This is the fucking uh, Photon Marathon. I hope you're all hyped. Uh, I, I looked around for better resolutions for the videos, but it is what it is. You can't find DVD collections of this shit. You can't find a lot of this stuff. It's just kind of... <laughs> what's up on YouTube is up on YouTube. Skin Deep, episode number two. And this is about... Uh, Bodie Lee's a bit of uh, a bit of an asshole, okay? Uh, he doesn't want to fuck the ugly girl. But he's going to learn an important lesson. Sometimes you need to fuck the ugly girl. Because if you don't, the Aryan Empire will take over space. So, Bodie Lee, you need to fuck fat chicks. Before there was time, there was Photon. Uh, wait, yeah, somebody in chat said there's a DVD of the VHS rip. But the problem is, uh, it's VHS quality. Like, this is the sort of shit that needs to be remastered. And I, I, don't, I don't know what they could do to it. But, I like, find the, <laughs> find the originals, if this exists somewhere, and make a DVD set. I will pay for this. Like, if, if the Photon guys, the company that holds the rights, ever hear this, you could release this fucking DVD and charge 50 bucks. I'd pay 50 bucks to own this shit on DVD. It is fucking amazing. The crystal energy force which creates and sustains life in our universe. The warlord of R and his evil army are determined to control Photon and use it for their own evil ends. 
only thing that stands in their way is the Earthling Bodhi Lee, who along with five other Photon Champions are known as the Photon Warriors. Warrior. Warrior. Yeah, I also want to throw this out like as an aside because this is uh, the game became popular in '84. The TV show I think was made between '85 and '86. I don't remember what the quality of Super Sentai was at the time, but like this feels like it's higher quality. Like the I know the green screen effects are awful, but like the props and the miniatures feel like they're better. Is that just me? It feels like they really threw money at this, which again is crazy that it didn't take off. The light shines. The light shines. The light shines. Mom, you've got to be kidding. How could you? How could you tell Mrs. Callan I take Sarah to the dance? Mom, what the fuck? I don't fuck fat chicks. I'm Bodie Lee, okay? I've got a reputation as the photon warrior at school, Mom. I don't ride my huffy bike wearing my Ray-Bans and my denim jeans to fuck ugly girls. I'll buy that bitch some kibbles and bits or something, because that's what dogs deserve, Mom. Maybe get a couple paper bags, we'll double bag that bitch, and I'll tag tame her after I have a few too many beers. But don't you set Bodie Lee up with the ugly bitch. Because she needed a date. But why me? Sarah Callan's a dog. I can't afford to be seen with something that barks. It beats the way you're usually seen at a dance. Alone. Happy. Now, son, I don't think this one favor is going to ruin your life. And besides, you never know how a girl's going to turn out. Look at your mother. She was ugly as shit. <laughs> is that where dad's going to go with this? Come on, son. Fuck the ugly girl. Your mom was one, and you wouldn't be here without her. Well, your mom was pretty funny looking as a teenager. But look Holy shit, that is where the dad went. The dad actually told his son to fuck the ugly girl because his mom was the ugly girl. How gorgeous she is now, huh? <laughs> I was not funny looking. I happen to be quite cute. Oh, Barbara, you really weren't. Uh, I mean, you are now, but you weren't then. I'll have you know I was one of the most popular girls in school. Okay, okay, don't get excited. I'm, I'm not just getting trying to make a point. Well, don't do it at my expense. Oh, oh Barbara, look what you <laughs> did. I just hate it when you do that. <laughs> Chris? Oh, uh, hi, sir. I understand you're taking me to my school dance this weekend. Well, um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, Sarah. I don't have a leash, and there are laws against walking dogs without one in this town. Maybe I'll buy you a kennel and put you in it, and then I'll put a little TV outside the kennel and you can watch a tape of me fucking pretty girls. Because you're ugly, Sarah. Look at you and your frumpy sweatpants. Bodie Lee doesn't fuck girls in sweatpants. I, I got a term paper due soon. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Uh, I understand. <sighs> I never knew you played photon. Well, I don't, really. I just came to see what it was all about. Oh, well, maybe I'll see you on the court sometime. Maybe. Bye. 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 Shine. As usual, you're the last to arrive. Is your life that busy? Ten billion miles, I'm a couple of seconds late, and you complain. I don't know why Mom puts up with you. Please pay attention. In the Caliban galaxy, there is a volcanic planet known as Barbaroi. Massive deposits of uncontrolled photon are present there. We must bring the planet into the Alliance and teach the inhabitants how to use the photon energy before the Warlord seizes it for his own purposes. I am sending you to Barbaroi as my personal ambassadors. You will seek out their leaders and establish diplomatic relations with them.
inhabitants of Barbaroi seek to join the Photon Alliance. This must be prevented, whatever the price. We can allow no contact between the natives and the Photon team. Pyra, you will see to it that their so-called diplomatic mission fails. <laughs> is, that, is that how you know he's a space pirate? Is that, is that how you know Pyroy isn't your average pirate? Instead of a parrot, he's got a robot snake? <laughs> That's fucking great! Hey, I, sire. Mm, haven't you forgotten something, Pyro? Let the darkness grow, sire! Yeah. Can't say much for the scenery here. We're not here for a vacation, Bodhi Lee. Will you lighten up a little, Tivia? I wonder what the inhabitants look like. Only a minor basic life form could possibly exist in an environment like this. According to my analysis, any indigenous life form would have to be... Over there! The rocks are moving! No, it's some kind of monster! Don't shoot! Hey, what are you doing? It's attacking! Bodhi, you don't know that! It yeah, for anybody that missed the stream yesterday, or uh, two days ago... Uh, Bodhi Lee, even though he's now on an intergalactic adventure, he doesn't take prisoners. <laughs> the first time they gave him a gun, the first the, the, the first thing he did with it was shoot the, the nearest opportunity. He didn't even know if it was a bad guy. He literally just fucking shot it. Bodhi Lee doesn't take prisoners. He will murder every alien he comes across. You'd think he'd be on the Aryan Empire side, but he's not. Anything that ugly must be dangerous. But my reading show. Never mind your reading. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry, the shellac will be back. I am Facade. You must come with me. I'm a friend of the Guardians of the Light. <laughs> That's me, Guardian of the Light. <laughs> I don't know about this. Parsival's right. We must not make any rash decisions, Bodhi Lee. If I have to choose between that thing and her, I'll take her. You hear me, you stupid feminist uh, ninja space bitch? Bodhi Lee's gonna fuck that alien. Then he's gonna go hunt down the innocent rock monster and blow his fucking head off. May the light shine. That figures. Hurry, come with me. I will take you to safety from the rock monsters. You must trust me. I'm not going to the... I want to find that creature. I'll go with you. No, go with them. I have a feeling they're going to need you more than I do. Be careful. I'm afraid I must ask for your weapons. It's the law of Barbaroi. Oh? She looks pretty trustworthy, wouldn't you say so, Leon? Eh, I guess so. I mean, those tits are pretty rockin', dinosaur dude. I say we give the mysterious alien lady in spandex our weapons. What could possibly go wrong? He's like, he's Captain Kirk. If Captain Kirk just killed everything he came across. How about you, Pike? Mmm, I trust her. How could you not trust anybody as beautiful as she is? Shalet! I'm a friend! Where are you? If you wait in this chamber, our leaders will receive you and welcome you officially. <laughs> Anything you say. Thank you, pretty lady. You're more than welcome. Oh, that girl is dynamite. Let's just hope she doesn't explode. I don't like the looks of this. I was afraid of something like this. Uh-oh. You made a big mistake, Bodhi Lee. Yes, I fear their welcome will be warmer than we expected. <laughs> Ahoy, Guardians! I'm afraid your own lights are about to be turned off. Forever! <laughs> oh dear, what are we going to do? Nice going, Bodhi. Look out! Well now, nice try, me lovely. Hyrar, what about the boy? Don't fret your pretty little mug. I got one of me boys on his trail. <laughs> You can't treat Guardians this way! Open this door! Do you hear me? Open it at once! Oh, I hope you're satisfied, Bodhi Lee! We're trapped! Good going, Bodhi! We're all gonna get killed by a lava fall! Cause you thought with your dick!
<laughs> the fucking gay space pirate is going to kill us in a lava room because you wanted to fuck some alien girl. Good going, Bodie. Real smart. Yeah, so the fun's just beginning. Look. I'm never going to trust a pretty face again. Don't be afraid. I you know, this show is, is pretty red-pilled. What's the second lesson we've learned? The first lesson we learned was Bodhi Lee feels free to kill anything he comes across. That was the uh, that was the <laughs> that was the message of the first episode. This episode is teaching children don't trust whores. That's the main message of this show. Don't trust whores because they will kill you with lava. I've come to help you. Shalek. Shalek. You can trust me, I'm a photon guardian. <laughs> You're coming with me, child. There's no way out of here, so don't even try to get away. Ah, you're coming with me, little boy. Mandar wants to take you to his private villa. I don't know what evil he'll do to you there, but he has cocoa butter. Cocoa butter and condoms. <laughs> Save your breath. I need your assistance. They can't help you. In fact, they could use a little assistance themselves. <laughs> Come on, Thank you, Shellac. That was a close one. Okay. Don't worry about him. That's just a hologram. Come on. risen three feet in the past five minutes. I don't know how much more of this heat we can take. The lava's taking too long. Let's finish them off ourselves. No, man. That's too easy. I uh, quick question from chat. Uh, somebody said, are the writers Japanese or were they white dudes? I actually don't know. I know uh, the executive producer and the producer were both Japanese. So I'm, I'm almost fairly certain the writers were as well. And then they used voice actors from a lot of, like, the 80s TV shows and animes and shit to play characters in the fucking TV show. I'll look that up when we, like, after a few episodes, we'll look into it. I want to hear them scream! <laughs> I warned you about her. Yeah, you were right, Timmy. She's evil. Battle to the core. Yeah, if we could move this rock, we could unseal the tunnel. Yeah. Stop it, Leon. You bring the whole thing down on our heads. It's rising again. We'd better start climbing. I don't have time to learn your language, but this will take care of that problem. There. Hello, Shalek. Who said that? Not you. My name is Parsifal. How can that be? I understood what you said. And I understood you. Really? What is that thing? This is a translator, so we can talk to each other. Will you tell me what's going on here? My name is Billick, leader of the Shalak. I'm the one who called you for assistance. Then I was right. Yes, that friend of yours didn't trust me because he didn't like my appearance. You perceive beyond outer images. Who is Facade? She looks like one of your people, but actually she's one of us. She's a traitor who sided with the warlord of Ar. He gave her beauty and she helped him defeat us. That's why I radioed the Photon Guardians of the Light for assistance. I better warn my friends about her before it's too late. Come on! The light shines! The light shines! We've climbed as high as we can go. I'm sorry, gang. I could kill myself for having trusted that facade. That's lesson number two of the episode. If you fuck up in the universe of Bodhi Lee, kill yourself. Don't trust whores, and when you make a mistake, shoot yourself in the fucking head. We don't tolerate fuck-ups here. You need to end your life. Oh, and did it, uh, hold on a second. Did shit just freeze up, chat? One second. Uh, hold on one moment. Looks like the site's shitting out on me for a moment here. Okay. Let me just, uh, let me, let me refresh this really quick.
can't won't even let me end the poll. Don't know why it's doing that, but uh, just take one moment here, and we'll be right back to the episode. Occasionally, stream me shits the bed. All right, end poll. Okay, there we go. All right, we're good. We're good now. Sorry about that. Go back to the amazing adventures of Bodie Lee. Don't kill yourself. Let me do it for you. Would you get off my case? Ah! Vivia! Don't worry. I've got you. Just hang on. Don't risk your life for me, Bodie. Let go. Oh, you've made it. Thank heaven. Bravo! You must like her a little bit. Well, it's about time you got here, Destructor. Watch those fools in there. Don't let them get out. We'll never get out of here alive. It's just a matter of time. So, the Photon Guardians are trapped in here, eh? I don't see them. I guess the lava got them. <laughs> let the darkness grow. It's no use. I'm afraid we're done for, Bodhi. We gotta get to that window. It's our last chance. It's impossible. Watch me. Looks like I'll get to destroy one of the Guardians after all. I was born in a cross by You go that way. I'll mm. work my way over to the window. Mm. Okay, be careful. Congratulations, gang. We made it. Oh, boy. Am I glad to get out of that awful place. <laughs> Why are they fighting? We have to save him. He's our friend. <laughs> oh, no. Billy! Bodhi! They're going to punch and rock. They never had a chance. Okay, what the fuck, Streamy? Sorry. I, it keeps freezing up on me. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. Maybe if I do it like this. Let me see if this will work. Okay. I, I think that that's going to work. We'll try it like that. Uh, if not, I, I don't know what to do. Oh, Bodhi. Huh. What, Bodhi? <laughs> you care? Of course. But only because the team needs you. Mm -hmm. Do you know this big lug just saved my life? He covered me with his body. When you're made of rock, other rocks can't hurt you. <laughs> you're beautiful. Bodhi, we still have to get rid of Pyrar. And Vasad. Come on, get okay, with it. Hey, gang, let's go. I like care of her. Come on, Nathan. Crystal's moving! Come on, you heard me, Master! We need a plan of attack. According to my analysis, we can use the planet's volcanic action to our advantage. Lord Batham, I'm going to need some assistance from your magic. Mm-hmm. Then you shall have it. I'll tell you what we need. Belek, we need you to guide us through the tunnel. Hmm, we need to get behind Pyra if that's at all possible. It is. Good. Yeah, we'll surround him. Just give us a couple of minutes, Parsimu. Lord Batham, we need to stop up that volcano, so it'll build up pressure. Mm. What's that? Mm. That is trouble. Ah. Uh -huh. Get 
as I thought. Wait, if the fucking Chinese robot wizard can lift boulders big enough to block volcanoes, how did he not just rip through the wall using his super magic at the very beginning of their peril? You know, that Chinese robot wizard has a bit of a fucking attitude. I don't trust him. He was a bit of a bitch to Bodhi Lee in the first episode, and even in episode 10. I think we need to watch out for the guy. Never trust the Chinese, Chet. I think that's the third message of this episode. A guardian! How did he escape? <laughs> Get them, mateys! <laughs> Evacuate the mine! Don't worry, Leon. My people can't be harmed by cave-ins. Go ahead and seal the entrance off. Mm -hmm. Oh no, we'll be trapped in here! That should do it! The whole place is gone to blow! Retreat, mateys! We're sitting on top of a pressure cooker! <laughs> This one's mine, Pyrar. Now I've got you. Oh, what's wrong, Sonny? Hurt your hand? I'm so sorry. You want to try again? Be my guest. <laughs> Now I'm beginning to enjoy this. <laughs> All right, Sonny, it's my turn now. Bodie Lee is getting his fucking shit wrecked. Just getting demolished by this motherfucker. <laughs> your fun but we have to hurry thanks cute <laughs> did he just wink at her <laughs> that's the second time she sh saved his ass he just what a cocky motherfucker god Bodie is a chat goes and fights aliens that break his hand when he punches them winks at the girl that saves his life like he did her a favor won't fuck the ugly chick at school but <laughs> Bodie Lee is just pure testosterone it appears we've been successful. The light shines! Hey, wait a minute! I just remembered something! Look! It's gonna blow! Don't worry! I love a happy ending! Now that you're up the light, we don't need this anymore. We all understand each other. What do you want us to do with this? Her good friends left her behind. Perhaps you want her, Bodhi Lee? Nah, it's okay. Well, it appears you learned something from this experience, Bodhi Lee. Beauty is not a matter of physical appearance. Beauty is something that dwells in a person's heart. Or as we say on my planet, Bodhi, don't stick your dick in evil. Never trust the whore, Bodhi. I hope you've learned that important lesson, kids watching at home. Women are fucking evil. <laughs> don't trust them. Because they will try to kill you with lava. When it's a thought, she'll try to kill you with something hot. It's a tip from Photon. Remember that, Bodhi Lee. Speaking of beauty, we have a gift for you, Shalex, from the Photon Alliance. It's a gift of the light of Photon. Let the light shine.
Oh, yeah. For people that are unfamiliar with how the evil empire takes over worlds, I wasn't joking earlier on. They use a weapon, the BBC, the Big Blacking Crystal, and they black the planet so hard it snuffs out all life on it. Tariq Nasheed said, Black guys' dicks are weapons of mass destruction. And I think he learned that from watching Photon. Because the Aryans black planets and fucking destroy them. Photon brought the truth to the surface. Now we see them as they really are. I don't know, chat. Would you still fuck her? I mean, I know she did try to kill him with lava. And she's actually a disgusting old haggard witch. But would you tap that? I mean, would you let the light shine just one time up her ass? Just as a parting gift to the rock people? Just to, just to cement the fact that you were Bodhi Lee, savior of the universe, would you fuck that witch? I think this is uh, one of my favorite scenes ever is coming up. All right, the acting is superb. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it for you, but you really get to see Bodie Lee's acting chops in this scene. Hi, is uh, Sarah home? Chris, it's me. Sarah? You look great. Well, I had my retainer off yesterday and new contact lenses, and I got a new haircut. Wow. Wow. Like, Sarah, I can tolerate looking at you. Like, wow. We, I can fuck you while you lie on your back now. We don't have to have you do a doggy style. Wow. I'm glad you approve. But I'm still the same Sarah. If you didn't like me before, you probably won't like me now. Well, that's not true. I've always liked you. Mm, but you just didn't like the way I looked, right? That's not true. <sighs> Chris, it's okay. I... I understand. You oh my god, this show is amazing. Even the ugly girl that's now fuckably hot. She's not even giving him a hard time. She's actually agreeing with Bodhi. It's okay, Bodhi. I know. I look like dog shit. I look like dog shit on a hot summer day, Bodie. I wouldn't fuck me either, but now I'm pretty cute. Now I understand that you want to put your penis inside of me. May the light shine, Bodie. You know something? You're terrific. <laughs> I've been trying to tell you that for a long time. Uh, come on, let's go to the dance. I think I made you sweat enough. <sighs> Are you coming? Yeah. Oh, yeah, here. The light shines. The light shines. Oh, yeah. See, you can see it's like half white, half Japanese. We'll see who the writers were. Uh, but like uh, producer, assistant producer, all that shit. You got like Andy Hayward, but then... Uh, Tetsuyo, uh, Kadayama, shit like that. We'll see who the writers are. Uh, story editor, Asamu Nakamura. So, uh, that's, oh, here's script supervisor, Steve Fisher. Uh, here are the writers. Yeah, look at that. They let one white dude on there. Probably just to double check their English. But it's majority Japanese dudes. Uh, we need to let the Japanese make more television shows. The lessons we're getting from fucking Photon are just, uh, they're eternal. Don't fuck ugly chicks. <laughs> it's a good message. 
Don't trust whores. Shoot first, ask questions later. <laughs> it's so good. There's our boy, fucking Mandar. The best villain that's ever been written. Like, he's so good. I know you didn't get to see him in this episode. If it's your first time watching and you don't know who this guy is, he's the best shit that's ever been fucking made. Just the best. Okay. So that was that was episode two, Skin Deep. Skin Deep. We're moving on to episode three, Grave Matter. Uh, looks like they the team splits up on two missions to the planet tomb, graveyard for former photon warriors. Oh, I don't know. Is there going to be witchcraft involved in this? That's a little scary. Before there was time, there was Photon, the crystal energy force which creates and sustains life in our universe. The warlord of R and his evil army are determined to control Photon and use it for their own evil ends. The only thing that stands in their way is the Earthling Bodhi Lee, who along with five other Photon champions are known as the Photon Warriors. Oh, and just as an aside, uh, I know some super chats, super berries fell from the sky. I'll, I'll read them out like every two or so episodes. I don't want to interrupt the goodness, right? I think that's fair. Because we're here to watch fucking Photon. And Photon is the greatest shit ever made. I don't know if you're on your way to work or school or if you got the day off and you're just sitting around in your underwear eating cereal. But you're not going to regret this. Because this is premier, top-notch, A+. plus content. This is amazing shit. It's a great way to spend your time. The light shines. The light shines. <laughs> Somebody in chat, I'm homeless. I am watching this in a storefront, I've run into a Best Buy and turned the internet on. So all the other customers can hear some retarded asshole from Minnesota. Talk about a 1980s Japanese laser tag television show. You should just start quoting. Start quoting the show. Run around the fucking store and start quoting the show. <laughs> They'll be so scared. You'll be able to live there. Nobody will ever come back. Just start telling them you're Mandar. And you've been sent on a mission to Best Buy on Earth. To kidnap little boys. They <laughs> won't know what to make of it. This is Pike Mom. I dropped Leon, Bathan, and Parsival off on the planet Karg, and I'm returning home now. Very good, Pike. Prepare to beam aboard now. Prepare to relaunch immediately. Bodhi and Tivia should be here shortly. You mean the others aren't going with us on this mission? Bathan, Parsival, and Leon have a mission of their own. I have located a new photon crystal on the planet Karg, and they have gone there to retrieve it. They will join you on your mission as soon as they've completed theirs, but I cannot estimate how long that might take. Perhaps they can give us an estimate. It's too early to tell! There's no way to judge. It could take hours or days. We can't afford to wait for them, Pike. You must leave immediately, and I will beam Bodhi and Tivia aboard the Zephyr as soon as they report in. We cannot risk interference by the Warlord. Tivia isn't going to be very happy. This guy is the ugliest motherfucker. You know, I'm split on it. I thought at first he looked like a pile of, like, you know, dog shit. If you had a pet dog and it ate something it shouldn't, that's the color of the crap that it would leave. Uh, because <laughs> it's, it's just and not in a good space. But now he kind of looks like a cock helmet with the foreskin. <laughs> I wonder if there's going to be an episode <laughs> where a space Jew tries to steal his head and make him into cosmetics. Have me when I tell her where we're going. Tivia is a photon warrior. She will go where she is ordered. Come to think of it. Yes. What is it, Pike? I'm not too thrilled about it either. It isn't your first unpleasant assignment, Pike. Nor will it be your last. Now go while I summon Bodhi. Okay, Mom, okay. I'm coming just as fast as I can. Yeah. 
Okay, remember, Bodie Lee is like a 17-year-old in high school. <laughs> and he stole a little boy's bike. Maybe he went to Parcival's house, because Parcival's been living on that alien spaceship for like three or four years, because uh, his parents were murdered. That's my theory. So maybe Bodie's just been stealing shit from his house, because nobody knows they're all dead and gone. So he took Parcival's bike. It's the first time in history a white dude stole a black guy's bike. That's how based Bodie Lee is. Hi, Andrew. The light shines. The jet was ready to launch, Mom. Where are they? Tiffy is beaming aboard now, and Bodie's on his way. Program your flight plan. Where? I'll brief Bodie and Tivia on the way. Tivia is here now. What's the big rush? Wait till you hear where we're going. Mom will explain as soon as... Ah, here's Bodie now. Chat, in what world is Bodie Lee white? Uh, in the world of Photon. <laughs> where you've got uh, Mortal Kombat ninjas from space. And people walking, talking foreskins. And Chinese wizard robots. That's the world. The planet tomb? you got to be kidding. Are mom's circuits overloaded? What's the planet tomb? Oh, tomb is the graveyard for former photon warriors. Hmm, sounds like fun. Yeah. Tomb has a fading photon crystal, which should have been recharged by the ex-photon warrior who acts as a caretaker, you see. Why send us? Because Colonel Bishop would disappear, that's why. Well, isn't that great? Sire, we've learned that the photon crystal on Tomb is vulnerable. Photon warriors will be sent to investigate. Eliminate them. It will be a glorious achievement to bring Tomb into the darkness. You must not fail. You will take Bagar and Pyrar with you on this mission. I can handle this myself, Warlord. You forget the caretaker, Colonel Bishop. He's dangerous. He vanished, Warlord. Don't let him fool you. He's still there. And he is very tricky. Now do as I tell you. Let the doctor grow. Wait, did they stop having him do the Nazi salutes? Uh, in the pilot episode, they would they would zig heil each other. Uh, every time they said, let the darkness grow. Maybe the white dude on staff told the Japanese guys, he's like, okay, maybe that's going too far. All right, we call them the Aryans. <laughs> and they go around destroying things. But you can't have them zig heiling each other in our children's laser tag live action show. The planet tomb is dead ahead. Oh, Pike, you just had to say that, didn't you? Mom was right about the crystal fading. Look at the scanner. There's hardly any energy reading. Hmm, I'm glad we got here before the warlord found out. Let's take a closer look. Not the most cheerful place I've ever seen. Let's scan the memorial gardens. I've heard they're really beautiful. Some garden. Everything is either dead or dying. The crystal must be almost gone. Yeah. Can we get this over with? I forgot to tell you. Why? We're going to be stranded here until the others bring the Zephyr back to pick us up. What? Right. The Zephyr will return for you as soon as it picks up the others on car. You'll be on your own until then. Good luck. Zephyr, you are now on automatic pilot. Return to the planet Karg. I can't see it. Where is it? Where's what? The crystal. Inside the stone shroud. Now all we have to do is stand here and wait until the light dies. Well, here we are. I don't see any sign of the caretaker, do you? What was that? I didn't hear anything. I just saw someone creeping into that cave. Get off, Tidia. You're giving me the creeps. I'm telling you, I saw someone go into that cave. 
You're just letting your nerves get the best of you. There's nobody there. Are you sure? Well, I don't know, Modi. I think we should check it out. All right, if it'll make you happy. Happy? If you only knew how much I hate graveyards. He was right. There's someone in there. Of course I was right. I'm never wrong. You don't suppose that could be Colonel Mishik, do you? If it is, he's certainly gone native. Come on, follow me. Stand back or I'll blow all of my buttons. <laughs> is that fucking Akuma? <laughs> Did he just walk off the set of Street Fighter? <laughs> What's with that fucking haircut? It's, it's like Akuma or Goku. It's like they crossbraided them. <laughs> He's gonna all Akbar. That's the other thing. They love suicide missions because everybody's a hologram when they get transported to the planet. Like they just don't fucking care about killing. They'll suicide bomb natives. They'll shoot kids. They'll, they were gonna detonate a crystal that could blow up an entire planet with a fucking frag grenade. They don't give two shits about just whole sla a whole. Wholesale genocide. Look out! You can't fool me, our warriors. He's stark raving mad. <laughs> Holy shit, chat. You might be right. People saying that looks like Donga. It is. <laughs> she said he went native. It's a native dude who can't get out of his seat. So he's in his stone wheelchair. Sitting around a magic fireplace. Starting shit with other people. This might be Donga. This is ridiculous. Knock it off, Bishop. We're photon warriors. Well, it's about time. I should have recharged the crystal days ago. Why didn't you? Because I've been feeling neglected and ignored. Well, now you're here. So let's do it. You are weird. You noticed. Thank you. <laughs> Just... Hey, Guardian of the Light, the dude that's supposed to protect the light crystal on this planet, why did you stop doing it? Because I'm an attention whore. Because you don't write me anymore, Bodhi. When's the last time you asked me how I was doing? All right? I need some fucking interactions. And if you're not going to give me attention, Bodhi, I'm going to take this fucking planet down with me. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Will you two come on? We've got to get to the crystal before R does. We may be too late. Huh? That's right. <laughs> Cover me. We've got them cornered now. There's no Hurry way out of there. Ah, oh, no, you don't, Missy. My case, Bodhi, cover me. <laughs> Hey, butt face. I don't know. Maybe that's my old man hearing. I, I know he said, hey, bug face, but it kind of <laughs> sounded a little bit like he, he jumped over and he said, hey, fuck face. <laughs> Just see. Hey, butt face. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Bodie Lee jumped over to the evil alien and yelled, hey, fuck face. <laughs> That's so good. Hey, butt face. Hey, fuck face. I'm here to wreck your shit. <laughs> A little poison gas. You aren't going to let that bother you, are you? <laughs> moody, moody. The light shines. The light shines. Moody, moody, wake up. We have to get out of here. 
Oh, oh, now what am I gonna do? Huh? Get up. You're supposed to be a photon warrior. What happened? It's the Aryans. They surprised us with a gas grenade. You... <laughs> what the fuck is... I... <laughs> I need to clip this. What, what happened? The Aryans came and they gassed us. The Aryans came and they fucking gassed us. Get up, you're supposed to be a photon warrior. What happened? It's the Aryans. They surprised us with a gas grenade. You've got to do something, Colonel Bishop. The light shines. <laughs> You're right, Chad. <laughs> the Aryans showed up on this planet, and they gassed them. And then the next thing that happens is people get thrown into a, almost a literal oven. <laughs> the Japanese are insane. The Japanese are completely fucking insane. The bad guy, Zig Heil. People are getting gassed. They're getting lit up on fire, thrown into ovens. <laughs> what about the boy? Uh, forget about him. Oh dear, Bodhi, speak to me. Oh, oh, wake up, Bodhi, please speak to me. Oh no, I think he's... It's almost time. Where did those idiots go? Ah, matey, look what we found. <laughs> Very good. Bring her over here. She may be useful as a hostage. This old tomb is a perfect place to hold her in case the others show up before we're finished. There now. The fate of the Photon Warriors is sealed. Yeah. <laughs> this is a very impressive laboratory, Colonel Bishop. Yes, I know. I built it all myself out of spare parts and junk. I'm a genius, you see. But what exactly does all this machinery do? Think of it as a sort of distillery. It allows me to walk, Kimosabi. <laughs> That's, I've been spending my time on this tomb planet building building a metal exoskeleton so my crippled legs will work. That's what Professor Tonka has been doing. It allows me to convert photon energy into usable pure life force energy, which I am now directing into Bodhi's body. I can detect a heartbeat, Colonel. I think he's coming around. Oh, really? Good. Let me have a look at him. Oh, yes, he's starting to regain consciousness. What, what happened? A gas grenade knocked you out. I had the strangest dream. I felt like I was being swallowed into photon energy. It looked like you were a real goner this time, Bodie, but Colonel Bishop's machine brought you back. Yes, I'm good with gadgets. Where's Tivia? Our warriors took her to the place where they've surrounded the photon crystal. We've got to save... Uh, uh, Easy now. Pike has contacted the other Photon Warriors. They'll be here soon. Until then, we will battle on. You... No offense, but you're too... Old? <laughs> to be old is only to have one's strengths changed. Once I relied on physical strength. Holy shit, this is, this is quite literally Donga. He's telling Bodhi, 90,000 and O. 90,000 and O, Kimosabi. Now, I use experience. A phaser works a lot better. Uh. Oh, dear. He's unconscious again. Will he be all right, Colonel Bishop? Truthfully, uh, I'm not sure. First of all, you can disengage the cloaker now. Cloaker disengaged. Stay alert for Orion, though. I sure hope Bodhi and the others are ready to head back. Well, we'll find out soon enough. The Zephyr is establishing an orbit around Tomb now. Before we beam down, we better scan the surface. I have traced the Photon Zephyr to the planet Tomb. That planet Tomb sure is popular. Everyone's going there. I wonder why. They are going there to help their friends. You must see to it they do not get there. 
Whatever you say, sir. Destructor, you shall be in charge of this mission. Do not fail. Fail? I never fail. Here they are, Destructor. Let's go get them. Uh oh, it's an R attack. <laughs> Program for evasive maneuvers. Battle station. We'll show these guys some real flying. Fly right now. Let's go get them. We'll hit them off at the pass. The photon crystal on planet two will expire in ten minutes. Thanks, Mom. We needed that. Let him have it. Oh, you idiot. Sorry about that, Destructor. Good work, Leon. They're so confused. They're shooting at each other. They ain't seen nothing yet. Stand by the cloak. Engage, cloaker. Them. They're using that blasted cloaker. Now we'll never find them. Trap. Stay alert, Dogar. They could be anywhere. I don't see a thing. I'll just maintain my course. Now bring us out. Hey, there they are. Radar's locking in, Basin. Ready. That takes care of him. <laughs> they got Dogar, Warlord. Holy shit, they straight up murdered his ass. <laughs> Did they just fucking kill him? They just executed Dogar. Gator, what are you doing? Gator, rise up. Oh, he just fucking murdered that asshole. Didn't, didn't even give a shit. Just moving on, next thing. That takes care of him. <laughs> they got Dogar, Warlord. Then it's up to you to stop them, Destructor. The photon crystal on Tomb will expire in seven minutes. You must hurry. Seven minutes? We gotta get down there! He is determined to keep us from beaming down. We gotta get away! Engage Cloaker! Arr, the light is getting weaker. It won't be long now. This is Pike calling Zephyr. Please come in, Zephyr. Leon, do you need me? Please come in. Bodhi's been injured and I can't handle this job alone. Help! Perhaps Bodhi can help. Oh, really? Well, I have an idea. Come on, burn out, will ya? Patience, Pyrar, patience. I don't understand. How can he help us? Bodhi's body may be unconscious, but his spirit is still strong. We... we will enhance the spirit. And from that energy... Uh, you're right, chat. Next time Gator streams on Stream Me, you need to go over there and tell him to pay for Pupper. <laughs> you're right, he did flashbang Dogar. He went in there and he flashbanged the shit out of him. Create a whole new physical body. But that's just plain impossible. Watch. You'll see that nothing is impossible. I don't believe it. It's Bodhi. You did it. Never underestimate the power of Photon. Or the mind of an old genius. Oh no, there he is again! I can't get rid of him! I'll get you yet. Here he comes again! Don't go to bank left! The photon crystal on planet two will expire in five minutes. The final countdown has begun. Okay, we'll take a chance. We'll try the old cowboy maneuver. What do you say, Nathan? Hmm. Hurry the old-fashioned showdown. What kind of maneuver is it? You just watch and learn, Mars. Watch and learn. Hold fast. When you really want to confuse an enemy, Parsifal, do something totally unexpected. Now, what are they doing? Have they gone crazy? Move out in front of them and don't let them get away. Yes, Warnoy, just as you say. How fucking retarded is this enemy? <laughs> the Aryans are not setting their best. The enemy stopped, and I'm directly behind them. Should I shoot him? No. I'm going to fly out in front of him, directly in front of his fucking weapons. <laughs> so he's got a clear shot. <laughs> Holy fuck. Now what? They're just sitting there. It must be some sort of trick. <laughs> what are they doing now? They are 
aren't doing anything. Strange. Move in on them and force the issue. As you wish, sir. in space an inch towards each other and then I'm gonna jump above you and fucking kill you I flash banged your dog and now I'm gonna murder you too get ready to beam down Nathan hmm. moving into beaming orbit now all right let's get going ready Nathan hope we aren't too late Percival find the store you got it It. Now we can claim the planet for ours. The light oh, shines. Oh, warriors, I'll take the potato. <laughs> you know they they threw their arms up and screamed, "The light shines!" And then they ran at the enemy, and every one of them had a gun out. <laughs> Mandar, what what are you doing, bro? Fucking shoot him in the head. <laughs> Say your prayers, old man. <laughs> Notice how everybody's engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat, but we don't see Donga doing anything? <laughs> Bodhi's out there doing shit. The other people are out there throwing fists and shit. And Donga's not doing anything. Except walking around screaming, 90,000 and oh. I've got your girlfriend, Bodhi. Surrender. Throw down your weapons right now. A little Miss Guardian gets it. Get fucked. Get fucked, Donga. <laughs> I, I took your I took your magic medallion. Get back in your wheelchair and roll the fuck out of here. <laughs> this is between me and Bodie. Are you all right, Tivia? I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, Bodhi Lee is fucking worthless. In the first episode, the ninja had to save him. In the second episode, his penis nearly got everybody killed. And once again, Bodhi Lee gets his ass handed to him by Mandar. And here comes our Chinese wizard robot. We did it. We saved the planet. But was it worth it? We must recharge the crystal immediately. And I'll see to it that a fitting memorial is dedicated to our fallen photon warrior. I think you have earned the honor, Tivia. Please, you do it. For... Are they talking about resurrecting Bodhi, or are they talking about Mercy killing him? <laughs> just, you have the honor, Tibia. As she strokes the gun, they're standing over Bodhi Lee's body as he's unconscious, with a fucking pistol in their hand, talking about who gets the honor of doing it. This show is dark. Bodhi. <laughs> Put him out of his misery. The light, the light shines. 
for everyone but Bodhi. Holy shit! The light shines for everyone but Bodhi. They just, he's such a fuck up, they stop caring about him. We need to mercy kill this asshole. He can't ever win a fight. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> the day is safe, but not for Bodhi. Bodhi. Bodhi died on his way back to his home planet. Can I get a rip in chat for Bodhi Lee? <laughs> Nobody cares. His own teammates just want to leave his corpse there and move the fuck on. Hey, don't count me out yet. Bodhi, that's impossible. What's going on here? Oh, don't pay any attention to him. He's a nobody. I'm the real huh? Bodhi. Wait a minute. Okay, this is the point where you get together with your team and you, you have to ask yourself a real question. Bodhi, if that was a fake you, right, where were you when we were fighting for our life? Bodhi Lee is such a pussy. He was hiding behind a rock with Donga. And he sent out a hologram to fight in his place. I would shoot him in the head right there. I, I would fucking kill him on the spot for that. Where were you, Bodhi? You giant vagina. Hey, Solid, will somebody tell me what's going on around here? <laughs> I guess you could say, I've got the spirit. <laughs> it's impossible! Beam us up! Will do! The light shines! Well done, Photon Guardians. I'm proud of you. Keep a light burning in the window, Mom. We're coming home. The light shines. <laughs> Yeah, Bodhi Lee actually gay opt them. <laughs> Can you believe that? He gay opt his own teammates. And he hit out like a bitch. He already got his ass kicked once in this episode. And he didn't want to suffer it a second time. So he fucking gay opt his own teammates. And ran for the hills. What a fucking pussy. God damn, man. Bodhi Lee, do you have any shame? What is your fucking problem? All right. Well, we got I got some super berries here. Let me let me read some of these before we jump back into the amazing shit that is this fucking TV show. From Liren, finally caught one of your morning streams. Well, I'm, I hope you enjoy it. Rogue Fragment is Photon a prequel to Warhammer? Is Bodhi Lee the Big E? I want to see Mom start an exterminatus. Well, by the Golden Throne, I have a feeling by the end of this, <laughs> the Aryan Empire might start an exterminatus. Rob the Impaler, 88. It's Japanese Flash. Prepare your anus for the big black crystal. Mr. Curie, have you seen Laserhawk? I believe that's a cartoon show. If I'm thinking of what you're talking about, yeah, I probably have seen that. J.G. Wentworth. Planets out here getting blacked harder than Bunty's queen. Bitcoin Assassin, I would smash right through his mom's hair diaper and plop my dough right in her Easy Bake Oven. From Pharaoh Owen. Hail victory. The darkness grows. Mr. Curie, take them glasses off and muss up that hair. From Joey Jojo 89 Super Sentai started in 1971, and the effects look better than this. One of the reasons Toei made this was because they weren't making Kamen Rider. Uh, also watch Superman Samurai Cyber Squad. It's good for a laugh. Uh, Rob the Impaler 88 again. That shit looks like the start of a really corny space porno. From Caleb LL Show. Can we get Bodhi Lee as DLC character for Mortal Kombat 11? Also, good morning, you glow-in-the-dark photon nigger. From Senator Hitler. Come on, dispatch. 53 tat. From Gopnik. Jim, you whiskey-dicked potato fucker. I thought you'd stop the morning streams due to your worsening syphilis. It hasn't destroyed me let. Or hasn't... Oh, my, maybe it has. My brain no function good no more. Uh, it hasn't destroyed me yet was what I meant to say before the syphilis riddled my brain with an inability to speak. A Bitcoin assassin. I wonder if Wild Goose sent this one. <laughs> Ender's game for retarded kids. From Chapter House. It's too bad places like Photon couldn't exist today. They would have to allow everyone to win and wouldn't want someone to feel bad now, would we, Jim? From Shotgunner. Cramp in my neck, was asleep on the floor. It's 2 a.m., but I finally got to a live morning hour. Bitcoin assassin again. You know that black kid grew up to be a glow-in-the-dark nigger. Uh, is he actually working the CIA? We'll, we'll try to track down where some of these people ended up. I, I, I know a, a good majority were voice actors and went on to do other shows and other, uh, you know, uh, 
cartoons and anime and all that shit. Uh, but we'll try to we'll try to track that down. Sheepdog speaks 1776. Hi Jimbo, thanks for calling my boss a faggot. Now I don't have to work Saturdays anymore because I got fired. Also, ever heard of Terra Hawks? I, vaguely, maybe. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll check it out when I've got some time. From Black Knight Jack, Jim, you know what you must do? You must crowdfund your own Photon reboot. I'm serious. I I would throw money. I'll I'll be honest with you. Um, I I I legitimately, unironically enjoy this show, uh, because it's so insane. If they ever crowdfunded, if the guy that owns the rights ever tried to like release a DVD specialty set of this and was like, oh, I need money to get the print going or whatever, I would throw money in for that. Now maybe that's just me, but uh, this is fucking amazing. It really it really should have a better DVD set than a VHS rip. Uh, where were we? BDG twenty five. All that shit going into Mandar is how they gave you prep in the eighties. Uh, Ranma. So you're into Warhammer 40k, but what do you think about Warhammer Fantasy Age of Sigmar? Also, fuck Skaven niggers. Uh, well, you can ask me all your Warhammer uh, lore questions and all that shit when I do a stream about it. Uh, Nick Ricada will be joining me, so it should be it should be entertaining. But I'll have a dedicated stream to all that shit. Uh, Mr. Curie, just woke up, dreamt that I was in Photon. What are you doing to me? XX Luna style XX. Jim, please get rid of Jade. LOL. I can be anything I want to be, even Asian. I'm very fertile and can birth you many babies. I'm ovulating right now. HMU daddy. Oh, you want me to hit you up? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, if I, if I hit you up, uh, Jade's going to hit me up, upside the head with a frying pan. She will fucking murder me. Senator Hitler, have you heard of Rocketgate? Apparently StreamMe uses the name, uses the name of a payment processor, uh, and streams that mention it are getting nuked. Someone called their phone number, and there's no record. Uh, I have no idea about any of that. Uh, I just I just stream over here. Uh, I talked to the guys that run it, I think, once. Uh, and they asked me, do you need anything? And I was like, chat emotes. So they gave me a few free ones, and that's about it. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I like it over here, because uh, I'm kind of left to do whatever the fuck I want. They let me stream, and uh, I don't think we could do half the shit we do over here on YouTube. So I, I'm happy right now, but I don't know any of the back end shit. You'd have to talk to them or talk to somebody that I guess knows about it. And I think that is the end of our super berries. Let me make sure I didn't miss any. So we can get back into the fucking amazing shit. That is this show. Oh, one, one final one. Rob the Impaler 88. Ever seen VR Troopers? And to think Jason David Frank was going to be there? Hail Space Hitler. That one sounds familiar too. A lot of these are ringing a bell. But I can't, uh, I can't tell you 100% <laughs> what bell it's ringing. All right, you know what? Let me... Uh, okay, we left off at episode three. Let us go track down... Let's go track down Mandar. I think we need to do that. Do you, Chat, do you want to find out what gay porn he was in? Because somebody said he was in a gay porn. I don't know if it's true. But I think we can look it up. <laughs> if you happen to know the name of the gay porno that Mandar was in. Please send that over. <laughs> was it Undercover Sex from 2003? Was that the name of it? I'm looking at his IMDB, but it doesn't say, hey, this is porno, or hey, this is a TV show. Uh, well, let's see what Undercover Sex was. I, there's not even a plot listed. There's no plot listed for what the fuck this is. What did he do? Let's 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 read and see what he's done. Uh, okay, so how far back does this go? Okay, so at least him as Photon was the first thing he did. And then there's like a gap of 20 years. And then it goes right back into Undercover Sex, Wounded Love, Governmentia, Cerebral Print, The Secret Files, Cinema Fabrique, number one, Send in the Clones. He was on LA Forensics, Trace Caminillo's The Sphere of Lycanthropy, Peace and War, Dahmer vs. Gacy. Dahmer versus Gacy in 2010. Who did he play in that? D Dahmer versus Gacy? Oh, what 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 character was he in this? Does it say? Was he one of the main ones? No, that was Ford Austin and Randall Malone. I, I don't know. Rat Scratch Fever, the Chicago 8, Dove Among Pigeons, 
Oh, here's the classic from 2012. Aliens versus assholes. Maybe that's the porno we're looking for. Cross the line. And it looks like he's still doing shit. A wolf cadet uh, from 20 is in 2019. And then uh, two others called Clown and Blood Drive, which are in pre-production. So the dude's career is, it's still there. I mean, he, it's, oh, he does stunts himself? Really? <laughs> is this, I'm going to guess this is from the show we're watching. He was the hybrid. I'm not, I'm not 100%, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure on this. Uh, yeah, it looks like, yeah, he, he's still in the industry. Uh, if you know what uh, porno he was in, again, if that's real, uh, just uh, send it to my good friend, Mr. Antibully, on Twitter. And uh, we, we will take a look and find out uh, <laughs> find out what, what that was. Perhaps I should have been more prepared for that portion of this. I'll, I'll see if I, uh, if I can find it, if somebody sends it. Oh, where is it here? Uh, one moment. We're taking a small, a small break. People keep linking the Focon 2014. Uh, this is when Mandar, our boy, uh, did like a Q and A with people. Again, very cool guy. Has a lot of behind the scenes shit he put up on the fan site. Looks like he goes to conventions. Uh, let's see. Photon shooting scenes remind me of this game. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing it. Okay, well that's fine. We'll, we'll come back to it. We'll find more, more goodness. Now there were other uh, supplementary videos that I think, and Leo. <laughs> that I think we'll check out before we jump back into the episode proper. We've still got a 2020 segment on Photon. We've got a news report out of Baton Rouge where they send in their star reporter to talk about the hip things all the kids are into. So why don't we jump into that, we'll watch a little bit of that, and we'll get to the next episode. We'll hit episode number four in the Photon Marathon. Yes, Jet, the boner grows. So this is the news report out of Baton Rouge talking about how amazing Photon is. And Leo Honeycutt is going to take us inside a living video game just open here in Baton Rouge. It's called Photon, and we'll play the game. That's hmm. coming up at 6. That looks great. It does look like fun. You were to boldly go. It was a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away when we saw energy warfare for the first time, and then to the Baton Rouge galaxy came Photon. <laughs> It was very realistic. You're hiding and you're waiting for people to come at you out of everywhere and you just gotta duck and look and it's like you're shooting somebody. What Photon is, is what it is not. A way to zap people from the universe without really zapping them from the universe. Keeps the gentleman running. It's kind of like basketball but better. Gives you a good way. It's kind of like basketball but better. <laughs> it's nothing like basketball, you handicapped retard. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's just like basketball, except you don't play it on a court. There's no ball involved. There's no hoop or points that are anywhere similar to basketball. But it's totally just like it. Workout. If you play a bunch, you can get a, get a real good workout. Better than a lot of games. I just love to go in there and zap people. Photon's creator is high-tech entrepreneur George it's, Carter it's so III of Dallas, who saw Star Wars and then blasted millions of dollars into the rich galaxies of imagination. Says he now feels like Dr. Frankenstein. I'm not competitive with the really good players anymore. I spend too much time in the office and not enough time on the playing field. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Conquering all those intergalactic fiends ain't what it's all cracked out to be. But you know one thing I realized? It's like interstate traffic, only no insurance and no fender benders, but the tension is there. You know, I can really get into it. Oh, you've got to love those television packages from the 80s. There's just something special about local news reports, especially when they're talking about something they just don't fucking get. It's just always entertaining. Oh, now, we, I think we watched... Let me see here. Okay, I, I don't know if this was the one we watched. I think this is... A, oh, let me just double check here. I think we've got another Photon tournament, but I want to make sure we're not watching the same one that we watched earlier. Oh my god, it's got fan art. It has fan art of the characters in it. Uh, we'll watch a little of this, then we'll jump into episode four. Uh, when was this shot? What year is this from? Taped at the Photon of Charlotte tournament from January 27th, 28th, and 29th 
of 1989. I wonder if this is the same guy just going to all these fucking tournaments in the 80s and then he uploaded all of it onto YouTube. A Godspeed for doing that. Nicely done. Yeah, this one's not as nice as the other center we saw, where they had, like, the neon sign and shit. Uh, this looks pretty awful, but... <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's like a low-rent photon play arena. Holy Get out of my face! <laughs> yeah. Uh, is it? Uh, yes. Are you videotaping? Get the front desk in. I got... I got Hi, Mom! Hi, Mom! A Louisville person? I think they converted, like, a movie theater into this. They have one nerd stuck in the back room working on all the fucking styrofoam helmets. That's Larry. Nobody likes him. He lives in a van. He smells a little funny. And a few children have disappeared around here. So don't ever go into Larry's repair room. Because you might not fucking come out of it. Okay, and then it's just a shot of the arena, but let's go to the fan art. They painted it on the fucking walls. I know I saw it. It was at the very end. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know what this is. But I, there's Mandar. There he is. <laughs> well, I thought that was Mandar. That's Mandar if he was a businessman from the 1980s. Who, who took over planets in his spare time on the weekends. <laughs> With his fucking Jerry Curl ass haircut. Oh, she's got some tits on her. Let's back that up. That's not PG. That wall went from nerdy to X-rated real quick. <laughs> Look at this chick. Is that how they want women to dress when they go into the photon center? Make sure make sure to put your swimsuit on, honey. And uh, put on this retarded helmet. And let's uh, let's turn out all the lights. And I'll teach you how the game is played. Alright, first one to get all their clothes off uh, wins. Go. Okay, all right, that's that's enough of the, the lore. Let's go back to the episode guide. We were, let's see, where were we here? Oh, uh, we watched A Grave Matter. Now we're on to episode number four, just for fun. Looks like experiences pranks on Earth. Uh oh, you don't like pranking people. <laughs> I still can't get over the fact that episode two, his dad 
His dad actually told his children, your mother was fucking hideous, but I pity fucked her. That was the lesson the father told his kid. Pity fuck ugly women. <laughs> Who was writing this shit? Before there was time, there was Photon. The crystal energy force which creates and sustains life in our universe. The warlord of R and his evil army are determined to control Photon and use it for their own evil end. The only thing that stands in their way is the Earthling Bodhi Lee, who along with five other Photon champions are known as the Photon Warriors. 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 Okay, here he comes. Make it look good. Wow, I didn't know Wendy had such a great body. Yeah, you think she's great? Take a look at Maureen Stoppard. Oh, hey. All right. What are you clowns up to? Robbie here got a picture of the cheerleaders at their slumber party. Take a look. Pretty hot. Nah, it's okay. Maybe he doesn't like girls. Yeah, I like girls. I yeah, Bodie, are you a fag? Are we got naked cheerleaders in our tube, man. What's your problem? Are you homo, Bodie? <laughs> Is that your problem, champ? You like the dick? Did Mandar get to you, Bodie? Is that what happened out there in outer space? People are talking, Bodie. And we don't want to hang out with you in the locker room anymore. We see the weird looks you're giving us, bro. I just don't trust you guys. What's not to trust? Take a look. I don't see anything. You gotta turn it. Still nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, the common theme in these episodes is people getting blacked. Bodhi just got blacked real good. So funny. <laughs> you guys got a problem. The Princess of Magma reported finding a photon-like crystal on X-Mag 93, which is one of her planet's moons. X-Mag 93 has virtually no gravity, but it does have a very strong electromagnetic pull, and therefore has a greater attraction for photon-like crystals than most other celestial bodies. I sent Parsibal there to pay his respects and charge the crystal in return. It should have been a routine assignment, and Parsibal was the logical choice, as he and the princess are close in age and share common interest. So, what went wrong? She's an extremely bright young computer genius, but she's very immature with a history of turning serious situations into games or... Oh, so the princess is a little bitch. That's mom's way of being real polite about saying, Yeah, we sent Parsibal down there to deal with her. But she's a massive asshole. She's got a little bit of a pissy attitude. Bodie, do you want to go down to the planet? We trust you, Bodie. You're the gay man on the group. So we know you won't do anything to the little princess. We'll send the gay dude down there to talk to the bitchy princess to save our light crystal. Practical jokes. Hi, guys. What's this about a practical oh, joke? Oh, no. Aryan attack. What? Mandar. He's infiltrated. Red alert. Okay, Guardians. Let's give it to him good. On my signal. Ready? What? Hey, Ready. you guys gone crazy? No. Uh, uh, hey, it's me. You see, I, <laughs> I, I thought they were the, uh, you know, the their enemies were the Aryans. But the moment that Bodhi shows up and he's been blacked, they all want to kill him. I think of the subtext that's going on with this show. Bodhi Lee gets blacked on Earth. And when they find out that happened, they are ready to fucking execute him on their ship. Sure, you break. <laughs> <laughs> Bodie, 
<laughs> Take a look. I'll get those guys. A couple of my friends put a joke on me. Huh. You have some very strange friends. Board the Zephyr. Bodie, you'll be briefed en route. Okay, so what's the mission? Why isn't Parsifal here? Mom sent Parsifal to charge a crystal on a magma moon named X-Mag-93. But she's afraid the princess there may have reverted to playing some kind of trick on him, and now he's in trouble. So, we're going to rescue Parsifal from a princess. You sure he wants to be rescued? Parsifal's only a child, Bodie, and so is she, for that matter. Yeah, well, she sounds like a grown-up female to me. Playing tricks on a guy. All right, troops, there's Magma Moon, X-Mag 93, prepare to cocoon. Here, Bodie, put these on. What are these? Magnetic power units. Attach them to your ankles. What for? To enable you to keep both feet on the ground for a change. They'll also give you a magnetic personality. <laughs> Great. I think I'm stuck with this comedian. I wish I was going with you guys. Okay, cocoon position. Uh. Men first. So long. Take care. You too, Uncle Pike. Hey, clear, Pike. Oh, clear. Ira confirms a photon crystal on X-Mag 93 and the Princess of Magma as well. But when the Guardian sent Parsifal, the Princess decided to misplace the crystal and play computerized tricks on the boy. What use do we have for a spoiled little princess? This spoiled... Mandar on point again. Leave it to the sassy intergalactic gay dude. Who cares about that little bitch? I want Percival. Bring me the little boy. My little princess happens to be a child genius, Mandar. Her knowledge of the computer network of Light Photon is vital to us. Now, go there and return with both the princess and the crystal. Is that clear? Yes. Let the darkness grow. Did you hear that? But where is it coming from? It's impossible to tell. Please, you must help us! I wish we had Parsifal's computer. I wish we had Parsifal. Let's start looking. Hmm. I think we'd be more effective if we split up. Right. Good idea, Bathan. Let's you and me take care of those three right now. No! You lumpheads. Let them do our work for us. We'll split up and follow them. Once they find the princess and the crystal, we step in and claim them for our. Okay, Pars, where are you? Please help over here! Hang on, I'm coming! Bathan, Tivia, I think I found them! Please don't do this to them! They're here to help us! Please, don't! He's down there. He's caught in some kind of bubble. If that's one of the princess's tricks, it's not a very amusing one. We're going to need help. I'll contact Faith. Oh. 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 Bodie, what's happening? Looks like another bad joke. Oh. What's that? That's no joke. her and find out how she's controlling these things. All right. <clears throat> Bodie, you're not going anywhere with those magnetic power units on your ankles. <clears throat> you shouldn't need too much elevation to spot her. And be careful, Bodie. Don't worry, I will. Bodhi, Divya, 
I think that I've found them. Uh, negative electro waves. Much more of this in my circuits will be damaged. Uh, uh. I'm picking up a signal from Parsifal, but it's... Yeah, somebody in chat. Uh, I love the soundtrack. Uh, it's fantastic. They do covers of every 80s song you could imagine. <laughs> I don't know who came up with the fucking choices. Because it's all written by Japanese dudes. So it had to be some white dude from like Canada or the US that said, We're going to put this music on. We're going to go real fucking 80s with this shit. It's far too weak to understand. I want you to position the Zephyr closer and see if you can pick up anything with your video scanner. All right, Pike. Zoom in with the scanner. Bring it all the way in. And shit. The mom. There's Booty. We should have known. If there's a princess to be found anywhere in the universe, Booty will find her. Yes, and there she is. Looks like everything's... I, <laughs> what, what is our little uh, four-skinned alien saying? If there's, we should have known. If there's a preteen girl out there, Bodhi Lee's gonna get her. And that's why we don't ever let him off the spaceship. <laughs> because he's a danger to children. He's under control, Mom. All right, Leon, but you and Pike continue to orbit at monitor range. The princess is the least of our worries. Wherever a crystal is found, there's usually an Aryan lurking nearby. Don't touch that thing! Move! Okay, Tivia. Parcival, over here. So it was her. It was her, all right. Uh, uh, Percy, you're not angry, are you? Don't tell me, Princess Aria. You got a cute stuff. Pretty good joke, huh? What are you, crazy? Someone could have been hurt. Nobody can get hurt from projected images. Oh, unless they're these images. Mandar and Warrior. Hello, Bodhi. Princess, you're coming with us. But first, you'll witness the end of the Photon Guardians. Ira, you will remain concealed unless you're absolutely needed. You are to serve as my insurance that the mission to return the crystal and the princess is carried out successfully. The light shines! The light shines! <laughs> That's right, kiddies. The end of the Photon Guardians. Man, now look out. Oh, warrior, I've got a grenade! <laughs> you won't get away! Archibald, this is Bathan. Listen carefully. I need your assistance. I hear Bathan's voice even though I can't see him. My camouflage won't last much longer. You must beam me out, Parcival. Hold on, Basin. I'm locking the Zephyr onto your coordinates and I'll cocoon you to us. Here we go. Let's just hope this works. There he is. Fire. That was good work, Parcival. Now if our young princess will lead us to the crystal, we can complete our mission. I'm leading, I'm leading. What's the big hurry? The Aryans aren't far behind us, for one thing. And I have an aversion to magnetic places for another. What's wrong? Well, there's a clearing just ahead where the photon crystal landed, but I can't remember which way to go. Is this another one of your jokes? No, I promise. I'm really confused. Maybe if we each checked out a different path. The last time we did that, it almost finished us. Given the fact, however, that the Aryans pose a continuing threat, I suggest we do split up in the interest of expediency. Are you always serious, Lord Bathan? I think you should be paired. It's a mistake. Don't listen to the Chinese robot. The Aryans present a threat. Let's, let's listen to women. 
<laughs> Let's take the woman's opinion on this. What could go wrong as the Aryan Empire proceeds to gas us? With Lord Bathan, perhaps a bit of his seriousness may rub off on you. No way, sister. I'm going with the hunk here. He seems to be the only one who knows how to have any fun. Excuse is she Is she trying to get the D from him? Is our little preteen princess trying to bang Bodie Lee? What the fuck is going on? Iron Man. Uh, don't worry, Tivia. I'll be fine. There's maybe one time you should worry, Tivia. Honest, I... Bacon and I will take the path. Yeah, don't worry, guys. I'm going to go into the caves with this little girl. <laughs> you, you guys, you just hang out here. You go fight Mandar. I'm going to go into that dark cave over there with this preteen girl that clearly uh, thinks I'm attractive. Nothing weird's going to happen in that cave. There's no reason for any of you to join us, especially you, feminist ninja from outer space. You stay with a little black boy and the Chinese robot. I'm going to go with her. Over there. What about me? You stay here and watch out for the Aryans. If you spot them, come running. Don't worry, I will. All right, stay alert. The impudent little princess said the crystal was in a clearing. You think this may be it? I hate to say this, Bathan, but I think that the princess has us playing another game. My guess is that she remembers exactly where the photon crystal is. She just wants to flirt with... Wait, so are the Aryans the good guys? Like, Mandar has been trying to kill Bodhi Lee since the first episode. And I think maybe Mandar's justified. Because, like, they're on this weird alien planet now and Bodhi's going off into fucking caves with little girls. I think, I think Mandar's mission is to exterminate degenerates. <laughs> and that's why he's after Bodhi Lee. I don't, think, I don't think the Aryans are the bad guys here. Bodhi. Okay, princess, that looks just like the spot you say. But is it the spot? And if so, where is the photon? <laughs> Mandar is literally hunting pedophiles on alien planets. <laughs> He's fucking stalking them like, like prey on the savannah. He's like a noble lion, a guardian of purity in outer space. And he is going to slaughter the fuck out of Bodhi Lee. Crystal. Finally, that sure is a sight for sore eyes. I'll grab it, we'll signal the others. How could you misplace something like this? Oh, I knew where it was all along. Why didn't you say so? Because I wanted to be alone with you. Ready? <laughs> Wait a minute. I... I don't know if we can continue watching this. I might get a knock on my door from the fucking FBI. Is this why the series ended early? Leave it to the Japanese. <laughs> to put in a scene like this. Of course. Of course that's going to go into your children's laser tag live action TV show. I'm too old for you. You're really nervous, aren't you? And <laughs> you can't take a joke either. We're on a mission here, not a comedy review. You're putting us all in a lot of danger. <laughs> you can say that again, Bodhi. <gasps> I'll take that crystal now. So take it. <laughs> Drop it, Bodhi. Or the princess has had her last laugh. Right, warrior? Right. I'm still waiting, Bodhi. Bodhi, we're taking you into intergalactic jail. We have enough evidence to get you sentenced to at least 25 years to life. <laughs> Fucking Mandar is going to drag his ass in right before the intergalactic court. Show him evidence of this. We saw you go into that cave with that little girl, Bodhi. You know what you're doing running around half-naked in Tupperware with fucking 12-year-old girls. You're not fooling anybody, Bodie. Trying to act brave in front of your little girlfriend, is that it? Go ahead and shoot, Mandar. You know... Did he just call her his little girlfriend? Oh, Mandar. Mandar knows the terminology. Mandar knows what's up. He's not fucking around. The princess is more valuable to you alive than dead. Now this is funny. Who's joking? This is taking entirely too long. Let the darkness grow. Bodie! You imbecile! <laughs> we'll have the video back as soon as we pass through this meteor field. Last thing we saw was Bodie finding the crystal. It may well be. 
I also like how Mandar's sidekick was like, fuck it. Like, Mandar, I get you, dude. Bodhi Lee is the disgusting degenerate, and we need to murder him. But that little girl, she's kind of deserving of it, too. Let's just throw a frag grenade at them both. All right, let God sort it out. We're here to purify this planet before we black it. <laughs> to fight the light. But they both should die. It's, it's like a really hardcore space version of Islam. Did the Aryans have been waiting to make their move until that precise moment? Get the Zephyr in position to cocoon down. If everything were going as it should, Bodhi and the others would have returned by now. You're right. Here we go. Isn't this the time where we usually have to slug it out with an enemy ship or two? About that time. I would trust that by now, Dalgar, you know what is expected of you. I have provided you with an additional Soldar piloted attack ship, and I'll accept no excuses for your failure to destroy the Zephyr. Yes, Warlord. Okay, you guys heard the Warlord. I sort of got the impression he was serious, know what I mean? <laughs> what I told you, those dummies never seem to learn. Okay, I don't mean to interrupt the kick and tunes here, but I want you to understand what you're watching. You're watching an episode of sci-fi where the storyline involves a dude fucking a kid. And the music choice they used for the song was by Michael Jackson. Let it sink in. These Japanese guys, these Japanese guys are as red-pilled as you can get. They understand the message they're sending. Oh, yeah, we're going to do a storyline about a pedophile. Better put some Michael Jackson on it. Really drive the point home about what the Aryans are exterminating in outer space. I think you're right, Divya. We may just be wasting our time. <laughs> you know, I think I figured out how they got the soundtrack for this. Because it's filmed in Japan. I think the producer just went out to a karaoke bar, and he just put a tape recorder down and recorded drunken patrons doing covers of popular American songs. Because that sounded like a little Japanese woman. Like an old little Japanese woman singing a cover of Michael Jackson. He's like, fuck it, it's good enough. All of a sudden, Mason, what is it? A form of magnetic quicksand, oh. far more dangerous to me than to you, I might add. Well, we meet again. Our oh, we'll reverse polarity. And Mandar called me an imbecile. Well, I showed him how to get the job done. Besides, we didn't need a smart aleck young princess around. No. <laughs> I've got the crystal. Grab the boy and let's go. But what about the princess? But Mandar, we're only here to get the crystal. Grab the boy. I want the little boy. I don't care what Space Hitler said. Grab that little boy. We're taking him in the spaceship. The warlord Never said mind the princess. <laughs> Possible makes an excellent prize. But I make a better one. No, Princess Aria, go back! I've caused enough trouble, Parsival. Maybe if I go with them, it will save more. The princess is indeed a genius. 
The warlord will be glad to know you haven't disappointed him this time, Mandar. But I'm afraid that he has. Well, you're supposed to be. Off with that. Bodhi, give me that crystal. Your move, Mandar. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, Pyrar, let him go. You're not gonna fire with me holding this crystal. Let him go, Pyrar! Bodhi! Terminate mission. Return to Scar Castle immediately. Just when I was about to get him. Oh, shucks. You helped save us. Thank you. For once, I wasn't joking. Thank you all for your help. I won't ever forget you. Bodhi, I'm growing up real fast. Mm. Well done, Har What the fuck was that? <laughs> did you see that? Look at what he did. He grunt? Bodie, I'm growing up real fast, Wink. He, I swear to God, he grunted when she said that. Bodie, I'm growing up real fast. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck? I won't ever forget you. Bodie, I'm growing up real fast. Mm. Well, don't hurry on our account. Goodbye, princess. Coming, hunk. Don't forget me. <laughs> he fucking winked at her. Did you <laughs> I need somebody to clip this? He grunted at her and then he winked at her. Bodie, what were you doing in that cave? I know we make jokes about Mandar wanting to fuck Percival. But you were grunting at a 12-year-old and winking at her. Don't forget me. <laughs> I won't. I just received a signal from Parsifal. They'll be rejoining you shortly. The warlord didn't sound too happy. <laughs> Once again, the Guardians have foiled our mission by outsmarting you, outmaneuvering you, and outfighting you. This is indeed a sad day for the cause of darkness and for our. So tell me, Bodhi, how does it feel to be Prince Charming to a real live princess? Gosh, Tibia, and you being a female and all, I don't know if you could relate, even if I were to try and explain. I don't know, but what I wouldn't have put her over my knee. Nope. Then they'd still be looking for the crystal, Pike. Yes, Bodhi handled the situation very well. Thanks, Mom. Could you Yes, everyone. I like the message of this episode. Mom basic <laughs> Gator was like, I would beat the shit out of that little bitch, and I'd take that fucking crystal. And Mom's like, no. Bodhi's pedophilia saved the day. He was, he was very progressive about what he's doing. Love at any age, Gator. Love at any age. You repeat that. We heard Bodhi. Oh, I can't anyway, you guys should have been there. Yeah. Hey, Chris. Yeah. Hold up a minute. What happened to his eye? Well, you see, first there was Tarzan, next there was Spider-Man, and now there's Raccoon Man. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> you want to know what happened? A couple of thugs jumped me. Oh, that's terrible. Is there anything we can do? I could use a little sympathy. You baby. Come on. Come to my house. No, my house. Remember, kids, lie for sex. Let's sum up this episode. I'm really loving the episodes. You need to patrol thoughts. Don't trust whores. Never fuck an ugly girl. Shoot anything that moves. Ask questions later. Take little girls into caves. And of course, lie for sex. Lie through your teeth. Women are stupid. Women are fucking idiots. All you've got to do is lie to them hard enough. And you can fuck the entire cheerleading squad. They are just dum-dums. The light shines. The light shines. I fucking love this show. I absolutely... This show is insane. This show is fucking insane. It is fantastic. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. I had a few super berries fall from the sky. I'll read a few of them and we'll uh, move on to the next episode. Oh, Kaiser Split Dick. This message just in from Space Hitler. Looks like a, uh, a link to something. Let's see. Uh, 
If it's good, we'll show it. If it's if it's not, we won't. But let's take a look. <laughs> I'll use that as the outro. I will use that as the outro Kaiser split deck. Uh, from Synac 9. Nigger Ninja. Bonnie, she is a princess, but she's also a little girl. Bonnie, she sounds like an adult to me. <laughs> Secret Soy Mucus. Jim, do you think there are some redeemable fur fags? I'm a mega fag at fur fag, and I need acceptance. Heil Hitler. Gas the Jews and fur fags, 1488. Well, you know, we're watching a story about a gay dude who works for Space Hitler. And obviously he has interest in Percival. But our boy Mandar, he's still out there trying to kill Bodie Lee. Because he knows Bodie Lee will <laughs> molest children just at an unpre or unprecedented rate. Right? I guess you could be like the furry version of Mandar. <laughs> you need to find a furry Bodie Lee and go to town. Steven Stromboli. Hey, Jim. Loving the new stream time format. Hope you're enjoying it, too. Uh, yeah, I, I like doing morning streams over here. Uh, it's nice and comfy. And talk about whatever retarded shit interests me, which is definitely this stuff. Because uh, it's pretty fucking great. Mithridates did nothing wrong. I have never smoked marijuana in my life. Not for moral reasons. It just seemed super gay. But watching your stream Photon, while everyone in chat shouts autistically about space aliens, I suddenly understand the appeal of the herbal Jew. Ragnarok 724, Japanese music question. I know you like baby metal. Have you ever heard of band made? If so, what is your opinion? I don't know. It doesn't sound familiar. Uh, Barbie doll. Gator played by Gator. Asian wizard played by Zidane. Turd guy played by Ralph's belly fat. From Rob the Impaler 88. Oh, we've already read that one. It's about VR troopers. All right. Enough of our Superberry interruptions. We will get back to the hotness. That is, of course, oh, let me I, I chat move there for a second. Actually, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna change this around because uh, then we should be able to watch. We should be able to watch um, the episodes and I'll be able to put polls up without actually having to click over. I'm just going to reverse the sides here. Uh, there we go. I switched it up. You're on the left side now, chat. All right. So that was just for fun. Oh, we're, we're just burning through the list. Up next is episode number five, No Laughing Matter. <laughs> Bodie Lee doesn't want to show up at a PTA meeting. A PTA show, is that Parent Teacher Association? Oh, <laughs> oh God, this is going to be good. All right, let us let us check out No Laughing Matter. There was Matter. time. Oh, fuck, that's loud. Photon, the crystal energy force which creates and sustains life in our universe. The warlord of R and his evil army are determined to control Photon and use it for their own evil ends. The only thing that stands in their way is the... Uh, it looks like the quality on this one's pretty rough, chat, but we'll bear through it. Because I want to see Mandar fuck up that PTA meeting. Earthling Bodhi Lee, who along with five other Photon champions are known as the Photon Warrior. 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 Oh boys, we're watching we're watching the best quality. I think this is 144p upscaled to 240p at a whopping 5 frames per second. You're getting the PlayStation experience when it comes this is the PlayStation experience of video games uh, but in uh, television format. I I I switching sides fucked us over. I shouldn't have done it. Chris, it'll be fun. I won't do it, mom, and that's final. Everyone is depending on you, Chris, and besides, it's for charity. But mom, I look like a jerk. So what? You always look like a jerk. Cool it, we Now look, kids, we're talking about a dumb little PTA show here. What's the big deal? My friends might see me. They think I'm a fool. You... Don't say it. 
Forget about how other people see you. Think of how you see yourself. But Dad, if I do this, I'll see myself as a jerk. Chris! Mom! Barbara, don't beg him. If he doesn't want to do it, he doesn't have to. Thanks, Dad. I gotta go. I'll be back before you miss me. Well, where are you going? I worry about him sometimes. Ah, Barbara, he's a good kid. I <laughs> See, the mom knows what's up. She fucking knows what's up with Bodhi. Ever since that episode where he went with that little girl into outer space, the mom, she, she gets a gut feeling. That's why they don't ever let Bodhi Lee babysit his sister. They're never left alone in the house together. I know he's a good kid. He just never likes to do anything out of the ordinary. The light shines. Mom, what's our new mission? I'll begin the briefing when Bodhi arrives. We spend half our lives waiting for him. Well, he's here now, Mom. Guardians, this will be a highly unusual assignment. Bodhi, will you join the formation? Take it easy, will you? Bodhi, Tivia, if I may continue, your new mission will require a strong and healthy sense of humor. This is the planet Gaffa. It is a po I feel like I'm watching a fucking uh, FMV scene from like a Sega Saturn game. No, fuck that, a Sega CD game. That's the quality we're watching right now. Somebody ripped this from a Sega CD and put it on the fucking YouTube. Popular planet to visit because the Kafaians believe that fun and laughter are the most important things in life. This is my kind of planet. Party time! Bodhi! During the 300-year reign of King Lucos, Kafa has been aligned with Photon. Recently, however, King Lucos lost his wife. He became despondent and turned his rule over to Prince Yu Morles. We've seen that face before. It's Mandar. That's correct, Leon. When the warlord first realized the photon crystal on Gaffa was beginning to lose its power, he sent Mandar in under that disguise in order to gain favor with King Lucos. So we have to sneak in and recharge the crystal? It won't be that simple, Tivia. The Aryans have a powerful militia guarding the crystal. It is. <laughs> They've got a special powerful army that are down there. <laughs> the Aryans are down there. And I don't think you know what you're walking into. They're going to put you into an oven, Ninja. They don't like feminists down on that planet. They're going to put you into a fucking oven. It's only brought out during the celebration of Laffin, an annual holiday festival on Gaffa. Go to the festival in disguises. Then try to gain the king's confidence. Oh, boy. Hey, this sounds like fun. What kind of disguise are you going to wear, Bodhi? Costume parties are just for kids. I'm not going to make a fool of myself wearing some kind of dumb outfit. I don't know. Is that true? Somebody said the planet is named after a South African racial slur? <laughs> But you said Gaffa was your kind of planet, Bodhi. Come on, loosen up. It's party time. Wait, they're actually going down to <laughs> a planet called Infidel? Kafar is... <laughs> this show is crazy! I, you think they snuck that in because they figured nobody would notice? Anything on the Aryan military frequency yet? Just a lot of intergalactic noise. What kind of noise? Give me your headset. Be my guest, but I'm telling you, there's just a lot of noise. It's an Aryan warship homing in on us. Better ready the cloaker. Cloaker? Ready! Better hurry! Activating cloaker! Inform the wall on. Okay, yeah, I missed it when they said the planet name. Some people are saying it was Gaffa, not Kafir, uh, or Kafar. Uh, we'll have to wait till we hear it again.
that we intercepted the Zephyr on its way to Gaffar, but they activated that cloaking device of theirs and eluded us completely. <laughs> Again. Thank you, Bogar. I shall inform Mandar of this development immediately. We can't allow them to recharge the Photon Crystal. You must stop them, Mandar. Do not fear. They will be stopped. Let the darkness grow. Oh, somebody said they have a better quality version of this one? Okay. Uh, one second. Let me, let me check it out. If this is a better quality version, thank fucking God, I'll be honest with you. Uh, let's see. Okay, no laughing matter. Holy shit, it actually does... Okay, thank you, uh, chat. We've got a better version, it looks like. The crystal energy force which creates and sustains life in our universe. The war... Oh, shit, chat, it's your lucky day. We've got 360p. I hope you're fucking hyped for this. We have a full 360p. We're living the big life. This might actually be the best version of this fucking show I've seen. Thank you. Everybody say thank you to the fine gentleman that gave us one that's in 360p. Right, where do we leave off here? Okay, that looks good enough. All right, get ready for the 360p goodness. We've just jumped a generation in technology. No more 144p for us. We're not fucking peasants. Just a lot of intergalactic noise. What kind of noise? Give me your headset. Be my guest, but I'm telling you, there's just a lot of noise. This might be the best looking episode of this show I've seen yet. Uh, if anybody wants to check this out, uh, Casey Farley is apparently the channel that's got this up. Uh, thank you, Casey, for having this up. I, I guess they, they had a psychic vision. We'd be needing to watch it because 360p, here we come. It's an Aryan warship homing in on us. Cloaker. Cloaker, ready. Better hurry. Activating Cloaker. Inform the Warlord that we intercepted the Zephyr on its way to Gaffar, but they activated that cloaking device of theirs and eluded us completely. Uh, yeah, the audio quality is a bit trash. If I could take the audio quality from the first episode and the visual quality of this one and combine them, now we're talking. I will have to do that for future episodes. <laughs> Again. Thank you, Bagar. I shall inform Mandar of this development immediately. We can't allow them to recharge the Photon Crystal. You must stop them, Mandar. Do not fear. They will be stopped. Let the darkness grow. See, see? he zig hiled him. He's, oh, he kind of did it. Yeah, they adjusted it. They can't let Mandar keep throwing that, uh, that salute out, so they have to adjust it a little bit. These Japanese fucking producers, they just don't give a shit. Episodes about pedophilia, thought patrolling women in the universe, fucking space Hitler, gassing people. I'm telling you, when Bodhi Lee jumped in front of that bug dude, he didn't say bug face, he called him fuck face. Gaffar shall be ours. I am now establishing a stable orbit around the planet Gaffar. Everyone prepare to beam down. So this is the kingdom of Gaffar. Looks like some sort of amusement park. <laughs> we just flew in from Neptune, and boy, are our arms tired. Looks like they've already started celebrating. So Security's awful lax. It won't be hard to get in. Uh-oh. This way. Quick. We have to try to find the king. Soldars, get back. This place is crawling with soldars. We better split up. That's right. Put on your costumes. I'll go with Bodhi to get the crystal. We'd better go get our tickets for the lap in, Leon. Great. Let's go. Whether she can sing or not. I think the bees from SPCC's channel have come and they've, they're attacking us now. 
I think that's the only explanation for what's going on. He's unleashed his bees upon us. Friend, are we invited to the laughing tonight? Uh, I huh? not, but she is. <laughs> I'm her agent. <laughs> Thank you, Pierre. Uh, to tell the truth, the name is Firar, Missy. But call me anything. <laughs> okay, swine. Uh, what'd she say? Uh, fine. She said fine. Uh, so it is. One, please. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good time at the lap in. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this evening. <laughs> what is Caitlyn Jenner doing in this episode? <laughs> what? Oh, Jesus. We'd like to buy two tickets to the lap in if we might. Hey, wait a minute. Don't I know you two from somewhere? Hmm. No, I don't believe so. I certainly remember someone as handsome as you. <laughs> well, what's your name? Uh, Craig and the Great. I'm a contortionist. Been on Star Vision lots of times. I never watched Star Vision. There's not enough violence. Well, anyway, here's your ticket. Enjoy the laugh-in, but behave yourself. <laughs> I'll have you know I'm a lady. I always behave myself. Come along, dear. We don't have to be insulted by the likes of him. Hmm. Contact Mandar. Tell him the photon warriors fell for our trap. And the fools. Oh, I'm telling you. I'm fucking telling you the Japanese know what's up. They have Gator show up with a tranny. And then he tells them to report to fucking Space Hitler that the trap is a go. Yeah. These these Japanese dudes knew exactly what they were doing. Throwing in a little bit of a little bit of dialogue that winks and hints at what's up. You better put on your costume, Bodie. Dressing like a nerd isn't going to help save the crystal. Do I look like a nerd? No, you look like a burk. What's a burk? It's a type of dork. What's a dork? You are. You've been in outer space too long. Just be sure you'll keep an eye on them until man. Uh oh, get out of here! Photon warriors, get them! Up against the wall! Don't move till I tell you! That way! A photon warrior and a young Gapayan have been sighted in the north wing. Thank you, Destructor. I'll take care of them. So much for catching them by surprise. <sighs> That's what you're supposed to Is it? <laughs> Fucking Mandar, man. Mandar, a little boy's been detected. That's okay, I'll take care of him. Route that little boy to me and I'll make sure to deal with that one. To put on the costumes. They recognized you. Sorry. I've checked this whole section. There's no sign of the Aryans. Looks like we're safe for now. Tony, <laughs> what is it? Hey, what's going on? It's a trap, Bodie, and this time I'm afraid they've got us. 
the light. What's going on now? Don't be alarmed. You're going to get a real bang out of this. Hey, what's the big idea? That once would have made me laugh. Oh, yeah? Who are you? Hmm? I'm blue. But who are you? Why are you talking in rhymes? Rhymes like, yes, until yesterday. Then I had to turn my kingship over to the new monarch, Prince Eumorlet. Leave him alone, little boy. You're ruining my fun. Don't interfere. Let him try to figure it out. First of all, what is this thing? It's bending me all out of shape. <laughs> None of my muscles are working right. I feel all weird. It's a Balonian puzzle net. Well, how do I get out? That's the puzzle. <laughs> Come on, this isn't funny. I... You almost had it figured out, but now your situation's not much better than before, is it? <laughs> Come on, Pars, haven't you figured it out yet? I just thought you loved puzzles. Be calm, Bodie. I think I've got it. You've got it, I've had it, and he's gonna get it. <laughs> I'm laughing. I can't believe it. I'm actually laughing. <laughs> Parsifal! May I try it, Your Highness? <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> what a shitty net. <laughs> a little fucking ten-year-old boy fucking destroyed that net. He just... Oh, the secret to getting out of the net is to just yank on it a little bit. God, Bodhi is so dumb. He dies all the time. Always gets his ass kicked, hides when people are fighting. And needs a little boy to save him. <laughs> because he can't figure out, he's just got to pull one of the threads. <laughs> you made me laugh again. How can I return the favor? We're photon warriors. We've come to charge the crystal. You? Photon warriors? Well, it won't matter anyway. You'll never get near the crystal. Those fellows in black are all over the place. You see, when the queen... When the queen... When the queen... <laughs> so, King Smuckles is mourning the loss of a family member. <laughs> What's that? Huh? What? <laughs> hey, look at there, Bodie. I don't see it. Say, how about doing that act at the lap in? That's a great idea. No, it's not. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's a great idea. But for me, it's not a such good idea to know that Mandar, I mean, Prince Hugh Morlis, to know that I'm going to perform. What he means is, can surprise the audience. Yeah, that, that, that's what I mean. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, I love surprises. I'll even help to sneak you in. There's Pyro. I hope it works. Mm. Keep your eyes open. Are you kidding? Huh? Looks like they're all here. The more the merrier. Who was that lady I saw you with last night? Oh, that was no lady. That was a hydraulic jackhammer. <laughs> I don't want to catch you two behaving yourself inside, you understand? Oh, you can count on us. <laughs> you Tralfamagorians are bad. What can I say? When he's right, he's right. Let's go. See if the coast is clear. Uh oh. Quit dragging your heels. Come on. I can't stand that imperious attitude of yours. <laughs> Now? Uh -uh. Blow the trumpets, raise a cheer, beat the drums, the duck and juches of nowhere are here. Well, what do you know? The coast is finally clear. You can come out now. Are you sure? Yes, yes, come on. 
I feel like a perfect idiot in this outfit. But you know, it's fun. That's what the laughing is all about. <laughs> thank you, thank you. What a crowd. Welcome to the laughing. There'll be a lot of surprises in this show. We have no talent. Obviously. Come on. <laughs> You're gonna laugh at my jokes. I will fucking kill you. You're gonna laugh at my jokes. You're getting shot in the face. Oh, seriously. I'm your host for the evening. <laughs> this thing on? Yeah, yeah, you love me. You're a great audience. For a hanging. Now I'd like to present a thing that will set your hearts a flutter. For those of you who have this. <laughs> Here's Miss Natasha! Time's running out on the crystals. Uh, we're missing all the entertainment. Hey, say, distractor, are you sure you know where you're going? I have a feeling we're walking in circles. <laughs> You're probably wondering what we're doing here. Well, it's like this. Run for it. Uh, you know what else is really interesting, Chad? I don't. Again, with the subtext of this entire fucking show, they're battling Space Hitler, and the bad guys are named Aryans. And who does Bodie Lee dress up as in costume? Charlie Chaplin. Who did movies making fun of Hitler? Oh, no, you don't. All right, Your Majesty, you're going to see Mandar. <laughs> All right, the party's over. Everybody clear the hall now. Out of the way. Look, Mandar, we found the king. Good work. Thank you. Now the charade can end. That's the others. You heard him do it. You didn't ah. fool me. All right, you. Crystal's almost neutralized. Pumpkin. Hand it over. That's more like it, King Lucas. Now you're being smart. Yes, I guess the old saying is true. He who laughs last. Mm. Laughs longest. <laughs> <laughs> Vivian, your face! What's the matter with my face? <laughs> Need I say I'm disappointed in you? You let those photon warriors make absolute fools of you. But then nature gave them a head start. <laughs> 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 uh, yes, I am. All right, that's enough. Please. You see, Bodhi? <laughs> she just... Okay, that's enough. Stop acting like fucking retards. Stop it. You're going to make me want to side with Space Hitler. Got a whole group of fucking special children up here. You're all fucking exceptional. Stop it. I'm embarrassed. I want Mandar on my team now. Under the right circumstances, foolish fun can be good for you. Try to remember this lesson. Chris, <laughs> 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 I'm so proud of you. Now you didn't 
feel foolish, did you? No, Mom, not at all. <laughs> After all, foolish is just a state of mind. <laughs> of course, of course, the uh, the side of light that the space Nazis are fighting against, they're dressing up like women. <laughs> of course. The light shines. Hey kids, weekdays at 3, don't miss a minute of fun with those lovable little Smurfs. At 3.30, it's ghoulish giggles with the new Ghostbusters. And at 4, get ready for action with G.I. Joe, the all-American hero. All right here on Channel 11. Oh, man. Okay, Chad. I, I think this is what I'm going to do. Because uh, I'm running into an issue where it's either got decent audio but shitty visuals, or really good visuals but just awful audio. I wasn't expecting that. I mean, we're kind of comfortable where we were. Uh, what I'm going to do is, we'll, we'll, we'll pause our marathon here. I'm going to download, <laughs> it's going to take forever. I'm going to download the episodes. I'm going to put better audio over it and try to get the best that I can of each. And then we will watch the, the premiere version of each of these fucking episodes together. Because I can't, if I have to listen to bees for another half an hour, I'm going to shoot myself. I just can't do it. It's too... That buzzing was non-stop. <laughs> you can tell... Like, it's just... It's over the top. I'll also track down where our boy Mandar uh, did his gay porn. Because somebody said he did a softcore gay pornography. We'll see if we can find the script for it. And that'll be the opening to the next round. We, we've watched six episodes. Remember, there are 26 of these. We watched one through six or one through five, and then episode 10. So when we come back uh, tomorrow, or Monday, whenever it is, we'll watch, I, I guess, episode six through, let's say, 15, and then have one more after that. But that'll give me enough time to get the audio and the visual shit sorted. Yeah, because I, I can't. I can't handle the bees. It's, it's just too fucking much. The bees are too much for me. I don't know how SBCC does it, Obviously, he's got a he's stronger will than I am, because I cannot handle that shit. Uh, let me check here. A few super berries fell from the sky. I'll read those really quick. Abyss warrior Ferdar, I have accepted my role as Ferdar. Let the darkness grow, you fucking Tweety Birds. I will reform all furries with rehabilitation, or a <laughs> or a permanent cure called gas. 1488. Caleb LL show. Jim really likes Mandar, a gay man who wants to pause little underage nigger <laughs> boys' neck holes. But Bodie Lee, uh, but Bodie Lee Worski, so much as winks at an ugly chick, and he has a tism fit. Was Sargon right? Are you a boomer groomer, Jim? Are you hiding secrets? <laughs> I just think Bodie Lee is fucking worthless. We've watched uh, six episodes now, and Bodie Lee has been knocked out of the fight four or five times. Four or five times he's he's gotten his ass kicked by the enemies. Now Mandar, I mean, he, he gets defeated, but it takes like all of them to do it. And Mandar, remember, in episode, I think it was like 10, he kills a bunch of sand people. He just shows up in this fucking planet. And for no reason, there's, there's no reason for him to do it. He just starts shooting people, just for the fun of it. Mandar is an amazing villain. High, fid or high difficulty. This is my first super chat. I hope the super chat gives you a super day. Thank you. Uh, from XX Luna Style X. Jim Daddy, don't show this on screen, but can you describe what you're seeing? <laughs> I'm not sure where this link is going to go. Um, I will save that for the next stream because I, I don't know what I'm, I'm going to be opening up here. A Kaiser Split Dick. Uh, this message just in from Space Hitler. And I, I did say that I was going to play that as the outro. Because uh, this was the, the message from Space Hitler. But I, I wanted the outro for the series. I, I had expected to sit down and watch all of this shit. But yeah, the, the audio-visual issues are a little bit much. So I will save your outro for the proper stream. Uh, give me like a day. I'll get episodes uh, 6 through 15 done. And we'll just we'll watch them. I'll try to get the best quality I can. No promises. It'll be 244 or 360p. Because I highly doubt we're going to find any HD fucking rips of this shit. I will find the gay porno the dude was in. Uh, and there's 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 more news footage. The 2020 special 
uh, that covered Photon, the uh, the uh, amazing fad that was sweeping the nation. We've got that. And a couple other really funny fucking clips from people doing tournaments in the 80s for this shit. Yeah, uh, this show is surreal. I, I just, I do not know how it was not a massive success. It makes no sense. Well, uh, chat, enjoy your Monday, or your Monday, fucking hell. Enjoy your Friday. Uh, hopefully you, uh, and this killed a little bit of time for you. It was only three hours. I expected more, but I'll get the uh, video set up and we'll be good to go for the next round. I will play that outro when we, we finally get uh, some momentum going. <laughs> I will describe that picture for you on the next one as well. I will pick, uh, I don't know, are we doing pro, pro anime? Are we doing anti anime today? I'm not sure which way we're going to go with it. I'll be honest with you. I mean, <laughs> we could we could celebrate this amazing show in a few ways. Oh, I killed. Without I killed. Oh, there we go. Let's celebrate and suck some dick. Fantastic, just fantastic. All right, let's let's go with. Um, yeah, you know what? We're gonna go with this one because why not? Got that.